to uh, part 11, I believe. Let me just double check one thing. Okay. Uh, seems like audio wise it should be fine. Oh, wait a minute, though. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Streamlabs wasn't uh, monitoring correct uh, audio. Am I having controller issues? Hmm. Okay, no. I guess the time where it like goes to sleep is like really brief. Oh wow, cool. Uh, yeah, another new uh, title screen. It's nice stuff. But uh, okay. We'll, uh, we'll get started here. Oh yeah, let me change the angle a little bit. But yeah, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, didn't end up doing a session yesterday, mainly because of anime, but then I was also, um... Going through setup with my stepdad with a surround system. Which he finally got fixed. But, um... For now, well, let me do this ahead of time. Apparently, Sarah and Ellie are mandatory for this next section, the guide states, so. Oh god, something about it being all in red. Let me get them set up, actually. Actually, I think I can do that from the menu anyway. Let me see. Yeah, we can just do it from here. Yeah, I think she's pretty much set. I could give her an evade. Probably give her a cast too at this point, honestly. Hmm. I'm thinking. Check, um, there we go. Yeah, we got still got a good amount of Sepith. We should really be making some earth and water ones, actually. Let me head down and make some. Uh, not here. Oh, wait, we did need to see Pascal, actually, but hold on. I'll do that after we uh, make these. Hmm. Shieldbreaker wouldn't be a bad idea. Be pretty good, too. Hmm. God, but then, as always, there's not a ton of Earth ones that are, um... Super worth it. Like, I'm all for defense, but it's always that problem where it's like, okay, do you want to hit harder or make the fight take longer to do, right? Hmm. She already has a freeze, so I guess shield 2 wouldn't be too bad. Or hell, maybe the revive. Hmm. I'll go for the shield, too. But we already have one, apparently, not in use. I 
I'm looking through to see if there's anything else. Maybe an evade too wouldn't be a bad idea. Probably get that actually. Hmm. Maybe another mine too. But, uh, we'll see. Hmm. Could give him the MP2 instead. thinking. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Rondrix? How you do? I'm just getting some of these guys uh, set up. Hmm. I guess I could keep Shield Breaker. I almost want to give him an Evade 2. Yeah, but let's set up uh, Sarah for now. Did I ever get anything else? No. Uh, let's see. else. Oh yeah, we could give her a shield breaker. Hmm. Yeah, I guess instead of freeze. Let's see, what does she have right now? Not a lot. I mean, she is more geared towards strength than magic anyway, but... Hmm. What can I give her? I could give her that now. Since I took it off green. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but she should be good to go. What about Elliot? He doesn't have cast two, but he does have the, um accessory that helps anyway, so... He's, uh, he's fine for now. I almost feel like the breeze is, uh, slightly overkill, but... I think it should be good. What's gonna be my party, actually? Hmm... Still level 70. Yeah, we'll probably at least take Milliam along with us. Um, but we'll see. 
Either way. Oh, it's up to go, then. Wait, what? That was weird. The only Discord went up over the game. Froze it. it took priority somehow. For a second, I thought it crashed. By the way, guys, is uh, audio okay so far? I know there hasn't been any, like, voice dialogue, but... Just want to make sure. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Let me check the guide. Before we get started here. No. Doesn't seem like it. You guys ready to talk specifics on the rescue mission? Won't have time for additional preparations once you start. Make sure you've done everything you need to. Yeah, we should be fine. Hmm. Well, you know what? Hold on. Just in case. Uh, let me get rid of all their accessories. I'll put them back on if I decide, you know, they're gonna stick with us. You never know. Yeah, we're gonna at least keep Milliam, so she's fine with that. Okay. Uh, by the way, given your report on the requests you've handled yet? I mentioned I haven't. Checking in before we start? Really appreciate it? Of course. Sure for not getting around to it sooner? Okay, that actually reminds me, we forgot to talk to Clara as well. Hey, what's up, Crux? How you do? Is, uh, is the audio okay, by the way? Just want to make sure. But yeah, I forgot about, uh, talking to her as well, so thank God we didn't, uh, start story progress. There you are. We're waiting for you. Oh, here you are, Claire. So, what was it you were going to show me? All that concerns this knight of yours. Well, it's that ancient technology I found near that quarry in Nord. Ancient technology? Check this out. Looks like some really old tool. Here's half a strange design carved onto it. Uh, you could tell me anything you want and I'll believe you right now, Reen. Audio's good, I'd say. Okay. Found it in an out-of-the-way ruin near the quarry. Touching by the wall painting near where I found it. It's an ancient implement of some kind. Apparently it'll let me uh, make orbs with special abilities within them. First can be used to power up your knight. You can power up Valimar? I guess so. That is indeed possible. Ancient orbs can be refined by using that tool to combine specific uh, materials. Setting such orbs into my core will raise my basic parameters. That's incredible. You can really do that? All paintings giving me a good idea of how you make them. Bring the materials and I'll take care of making and inserting them for you. You will? But are you sure that you can manage? You make it sound really easy, but it's hard to imagine it will be... I'm still working with stone. I doubt it'll be all that much different from sculpting. I'll take it you don't mind either, Valimar. Or whatever your name is. Oh my goodness. Rude. I'll leave it to you, Meister. It really doesn't take you too long to adapt, does it? Still, we're only going to keep fighting stronger enemies in the days ahead. These orbs sound like just what we need. Indeed. Make good use of them. Reen, there is another matter of importance we must discuss. It concerns a new power of my own. Special translocation. Spa spatial translocation? I read that it's special. Rip. It's a one sealed ability of mine that has been restored by the heightening of your mana. So allow you to call upon me in battle regardless of location. Really? I know we could get some great use out of that. We can go to Valmar. 
Acknowledge. You'll be here in this hold should you require me. That's it. So I guess we can just summon the mech. I nice bet you got there, Schwarzer. Oh, whatever. Take this. That's one I tried making earlier. Hmm. Is this one of those orbs that you were talking about? Yep, we'll just call them EX orbs. Ancient orbs is too much of a mouthful. Either of the materials to make more, come and talk to me. You're on tier working on my own art? Oh, uh, while well, waiting for you. Okay. Hmm. Our attacks are incredibly powerful. He can only be summoned once per battle. Makes sense. Volume consumes 500 of Reen's EP. Yikes. Choosing the best time to use his craft is key to getting the most from his summons. However, keep in mind that there are certain battles where this craft cannot be used. It's probably going to be relegated to boss fights only. Okay. Hmm. Private battles and summoned. We need to awaken our call craft. Oh, looks like there's a lot of them. Herbs can be inspired at any one time to enhance Valimar's sets. Okay. Seems uh, pretty simple, at least. Not optimal, but it'll do until I can get back into the club room. Are you seriously gonna work here? Of course. I'm an artist. That's what we do. If you need any uh, EX orbs made? I guess I can do that. Bother me while I'm working, though. You won't live to regret it. <laughs> yeah, right. But Clara's always so generous and friendly. Doubt. Uh, let's see if this one's. Yeah, it's not inserted. So what do we actually need to make these? Ah, it's quartz and uh, U material. I mean, the power orb would be nice. Hmm. Shield one we could probably easily get too. Still haven't pulled uh, Zinyon. God, I haven't been playing Genshin at all these last few weeks. I won't lie. Speed is pretty good too. I think we'll get a power orb and a shield one for now. Definitely shield. We gotta put those earth. Uh, so I have to use somehow. Otherwise, turn it into money. Any chance of the moment? 60 super easy primo gems every day. Ah, okay. I'd have to look into it. Um, wait a minute. This is the wrong way. Use one of the tier ones. All right, let's see. Oh, and it's permanent. I guess you can't make you can't make three shield or twos, for example. Yeah, might as well make the better HP one. Pretty good stats now. Mm. What else do I have to do? No, that's about it. Oh, aside from uh, turning in the quest. 
like Toa said. Right. We're supposed to be able to report our completed tasks in bulk using this. <laughs> Good thing we learned how to use an horrible computer in class. I mean, huh? you're ahead of the curve compared that? to Lord and the others in the SSS. Well, aside from Tia, they had to learn later. Oh, looks like you picked the perfect time to report. Go ahead and press the answer button below the screen. Oh, sure. Green baby, talk to me. It's all right. You can admit you just wanted to hear my voice. <laughs> oh, my lord. Also, is it supposed to flicker? I'm concerned. Prince Oliver? Oh, there we go. How are you? I thought you went to Western Erebonia. Oh, I did. I can't tell you exactly where I am now, but I've been on quite the journey since we parted. Is this a PC issue, Crux? Let me know, man. Like, it, I would believe it if it was like an intentional fact. I just want to make sure. Because um, PC gaming has its own share of problems. Maybe? Hmm. I'm transmitting this audio up, visual signal from my current location. I'll have to check later. Really? Wow. I had no idea that it was possible to do that from so far away. <laughs> well, the standard system needs to be modified a bit for it to work. Don't remember that on PS4? Hmm. How could I possibly fix this, then? I'll have to do some digging online later. Anyway, let's get right down to checking that report of yours. Hmm. Interesting. Marvelous! You've ranked up! This is just a little something from me. Ooh, okay. Good shit. Well, well, that's very impressive. Thank you, Robot Oliver. Anyway, keep sending in these reports whenever you're able. Yeah, I don't think the flickering is intentional. Oh yeah, Crux. Uh, let me know. Is this supposed to happen too? I know Crux said that it's probably not likely, but I'm just I just want to make sure. As long as you've got something to fill me in on, you can call whenever you like. Cause yeah, I think this is a PC issue. Of course. Sorry for troubling you with this when you're clearly busy with matters over in the West, though. Well, I did give you that responsibility in the first place. There's no length I wouldn't go to for my beloved students. Don't think so? Okay. Then, yeah, I'll see if I can get it fixed for uh, next time. Still, even though that workaround lets me talk to you basically any time, I can't keep the connection up for too long. But... Your Highness. Olivier, we need to get moving. We're heading to Parm for now. Be right there, my love. <laughs> Lord. Well, at any rate, it seems I must bid you adieu for now. Duty calls. May Adios be with you. And good luck out there. Oh. Things must be pretty difficult over there right now. Still, if he's going out of his way just to talk to you, it means he wants to, so don't feel guilty. You're the best way he can get the inside scoop on what's happening here, too, so everyone wins. True enough. That's a good way of looking at it. We'll need to make sure we never let him down. Pretty much, Rondrix. Can report complete a quest via the horrible computer and courageous bridge. Exchange, you will receive rewards and AP. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, so we did all of those. So we're good. Uh, more importantly, somebody got a true gladiator belt. Question is, who should I put it on? Yeah, I should just put it on Reed.
Hmm. Yeah, I'll worry about equipping them with stuff later. For now, though. Let's start nailing down specifics of the operation down in the conference room. Everyone involved gathered in the conference room and began discussing the best way to approach Fiona Craig's uh, rescue. Eventually, it was decided that the attack would begin from the Twin Dragons Bridge west side, using Valimar to break through the rear side's defense. While taking advantage of the confusion, a select team would then infiltrate the fortress and perform the actual rescue. The next day. I mean, that's like two days, but all right. I can't believe you would let someone as reckless as VV be on the, uh, on the front deck like this. I sure hope she doesn't lie with her reports. Our division's uh, main force has arrived in front of Twin Dragons Bridge. Apparently, they're already locked in battle with the Provincial Army's Panzer Soldats. Personally, my mirror's on the 4th Foreign Division. Had the advantage on paper, in any case. True, thanks to their anti-soldat tactics. Which explains why Father chose to add a hostage into the equation. Well, we'll be jumping into the fray soon enough. Let's go over this one more time. On our arrival, Her Highness will issue a declaration. Then Balamar and I will descend on the bridge's western side. We'll take down the soldats on guard, and amidst a confusion, the assault team will be able to charge in and rescue Fiona. That's about the size of it. Ready whenever you are. Back up. Uh, rather, I'll back up the assault while taking charge of communicating with the ship. Once you've done your part, Reen, I want you to join us. Understood. Don't forget, we're going to need to keep an eye out for the Eagers hired by the Provincial Army, too. True. Might even run into Zeno and Leo again. I can't say I'm not nervous, but I'll do my best as part of the assault team. My sister, we're going to save. I want to be right there on the front lines. Those of us not on the assault team should go inside to act as a version and serve as guards. All going to need to work together. Failure isn't an option. I'm down. Nothing can stop us. Okay, you guys all set? Yes, none of us have any doubt that this is the right thing to do. We will save Fiona, no matter what it takes. Oh no, turning back now. May the operation begin? <laughs> I'm just looking at the damn Mishi every time. Positions, everyone. Is that a course for the Twin Dragons Bridge in the northeast of Kretzen Province? Aye, aye, Captain. Full speed ahead. I'm about to say, what's going on? I ran into Aegers this time. I kind of need to be careful. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, we're going to keep Milliam in, I guess. And... Who else? No, oh, Machias is still at 70. Hmm. Emma's already 78. She can take a take a break. Hmm. It's between Gaius, Laura, or Lisa. Um I'll put Gaius back in for a little more. There we go. <laughs> DG Rondrix.
I like how this is the first voice line you hear in this uh, segment. We need to rebuild our formation and quickly. Well, that's what you get. You spent too much time talking. How does he just stand on this tank without holding anything? That's what you dogs get for underestimating the fourth armor division. Or rather, without holding on to anything, like Jesus. We're almost there, man. The time has come for us to take Twin Dragon's Bridge! The dad's power. I guess you're right. But, but, sir, if we try to do that... Stop right where you are! What is the meaning of this, Craig? Oh my goodness. I can't believe they brought this dude back. <laughs> I cannot believe they brought this man back. I thought it was just this NPC one-off I'd never hear again. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this shit? We demanded that you surrender, <laughs> and yet here you are right on our doorstep. Oh my god. Who did this? Has anybody found out, like, as far as the community goes, has anybody found out who voiced this dude? Does your daughter's life mean nothing to you? Christ, it's so extra. Ugh. You filthy cowards! Sir, if we go any farther, she's... Men, stay focused! And as for you, Alliance fools, I suggest you don't underestimate Fiona. She's the proud daughter of a military officer. She knows exactly what that entails. I mean, he's not wrong, though. I'd imagine he'd have to have that talk with his kids. Threats or no, she would never give in to your cowardice! Sir... But... Oh, you think we're bluffing, do you? Well, if that's how you want to do this... Stop these atrocities at once! What? Could it be? Well... That's Good lord, though. Can't believe they brought that dude back. Soldiers of Kreutzen, you should be ashamed of yourselves! Taking the enemy's family as hostages and trying to use them as tools of war is simply unforgivable! As Princess of the Arnor family, I will not allow it! Y your Highness, we... <sighs> How does this thing even fly? I don't know! Alright, let the operation begin. It just does. Here we go. All right. Right. Back on my bullshit once again. What are those weapons it has? It looks like he's just holding straight up like tires. Come on, Valimar! We'll open up everyone's path forward! Acknowledged. Alright, you ready? No. Alright. So first up. What is he weak to? Weak to wind. A little bit of earth, but wind is better. Weak to water. Can I not? I guess I can't pick the one in the back. Okay. Um. God, this track is still so good. Very catchy. Yeah! Holy shit, that one's fast. I can do this. Uh, no, you can't. I'm switching you out for uses. It'd be like that. 
Actually, maybe the speed boost would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Wait, what was his um? Sorry, what do you want? I'll show you how it's done. Let me check. That is a defense. Wait, that's a debuff. Hmm. No, but I think attacking more might help in the long run. Um, I'll put Fee in. I leave this to you. Will do. Also, man, maybe it's just me, but it'd be kind of cool if these, like, stages for, like, the, uh, the, the mech fights would be a little more, like, active. It'd be kind of cool to just see, like, trains passing by in the background or something on the railroad tracks. Little things I think about. Though I think because of me playing fighting games, I just want these stages to be more alive sometimes if it's gonna be, like, stationary like this, you know? Vito would explode. That's right, yeah. Unfortunately. God. Sad but true. If it's too alive, it's not tournament legal. As long as you can see the mech's feet, we're fine. It's totally legal. Let's go. Gotcha. It's working. Keep it up. Oof, two of them, huh? This would be a good time for Morning Moon, then. again. Actually. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go for this. No. Oh, this is a new stance. Hmm. I guess we'll try the body. Nice. Gotcha. Question is, is that a three star or four star? No, no, that was actually just the right answer. I could have done the finisher, but I wanted to hold on to um, some of that BP. Oh no! Ooh. That's not fun. Alright, let's take care of this guy at least. One less person to deal with. It's what you get, Chief. So what's this one weak to? Uh, yeah, what's up, Z Gotten? All right, that's the same one that's weak to Earth and Fire. Do you believe that? Uh, I can't answer that yet. I, I need to wait for the second part to load. <laughs> By that I mean the second part being typed. Uh, let me see. On Thursday, we'll get the long-awaited return. Oh my goodness. 
is a farce. Wasn't that already announced on Twitter? I'm pretty sure that was announced today, unless I'm thinking of a different person. Uh, so yes, I do believe it. Uh, it's kind of funny how at this point, like, Jeff Keighley just knows it's a meme. You have to bring him back. So that, that has a hammer for close range, kind of powerful but slow. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's stick to water, isn't it? What is this one? Good luck. I'll try at least. Okay, his is the uh, the air pulse, basically. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. All right. Try going for that. Participated in his AMA last year. Oh, Keely's doing an AMA, AMA in 20 minutes. Not sure if I should. I mean, it's your time. Like, whatever you want to do. Let's go! Gotcha! Check out! I kind of roasted him turn. last year. Man. It'd be like that. I think he knows. He should be used to it by now, honestly. Although, I will say, I can't completely shit on Jeff Keighley, though, because the Summer Games uh, whole deal on Steam, or I forget what they, what they officially call it, or the Games Festival in general, I'd say. I still think that's one of the best things he's ever done. Right? Like, letting us uh, try out those demos ahead of time. In a way, what I've wanted for years whenever I look at E3 is like, why can't we just, you know, mess with that stuff ourselves? In a limited period, right? Like, I wanted that shit for years and he finally made that shit happen. But as far as the Game Awards, yeah. Um, it's a little, uh, little rough. But I can't hate the man completely, you know? He does have good ideas now and then. Nice. That's it. Just a little more. Hmm, that's a three star, but can we go for something better? It's working. Keep it up. This might be the worst, actually. You never know. Yep, it's the worst. Do the aqua matter. Finish it off. Wait, just one more. He's a professional. Remember the time Angry Joe tried to roast him in an interview? Totally backfired. Yeah, I remember that shit too. Uh, hope by some miracle, Last of Us 2 loses the award. No Druckman cries on Twitter. <laughs> God. Between Tsushima and Hades? Yeah. Honestly, a lot of them I wouldn't be mad. You know? Yo, what if it's Animal Crossing? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that'd be, uh... That'd be an upset. Although, for me personally, out of the games that I've played, the 7 Remake is still my favorite. 
it's not a perfect game, you know. I definitely know it has some rough spots here and there, but I cannot deny that initial playthrough was nothing short of incredible for me. I I adored experiencing that game. And not playing it, I just mean experiencing it. Just taking in all the banter, all the character, the charm that they did for that game. Shit was great. But, you know, I ain't mad if it ain't, you know, someone else's choice for Game of the Year. Because it's not perfect. But then again, no game is, right? It's just preference. This dude is a great game, but Jesus, that annoying guy. Yeah. Or what annoying guy? Yeah. Hmm. Deadly Premonition is perfect. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I guess it's all subjectively perfect, right? So it's like... God. It's like X is Zero, right? Like, I think the story is like a fucking 10 out of 10. But, um... The gameplay and, you know, stuff gets a little repetitive, so it's like... It's like story's 10, other stuff's like an 8 out of 10, you know? But still very good. Hmm... I guess I'll go for the head. Mistake. Damn it. Alright, we'll try going for the arms then. There we go. Okay. Telling me. Star only gives you a little bit. Or rather, you know, get a chance. Can we not do this, please? I'll switch after this. I think Battle of the is perfect, except it sucks that on Series X it actually fixes its frame rate. I think, what a sentence. I can't believe it fixes the frame rate and it's a worse game because of it. Oh my goodness, what world are we living in? Good Life is running at 10 FPS on the latest trailer. <laughs> Bless Swery. He does not care, but I love his games. I still gotta play them at some point. Honestly, um... I need to specifically check out maybe some of Swery's games. Although, my lord, I need to see if I can get into that shit. And I mean literally get into that shit, because, uh... I'll have to see if I can look past performance issues. Um... But I need to check out that stuff and some of Suda51's uh, stuff as well. I've noticed, um... Usually if you're a fan of one, you're a fan of the other. Or at least, like, there's overlap, is what I'm trying to say. Not, like, a general thing, but... I've noticed there's overlap on Twitter, which is, uh, interesting. Yeah, what's up now? I feel like a Deadly Premonition game should never run 100% smoothly. It needs a little jank. Maybe. Um... Why have more frames and you can have more bugs? Like, actual bugs you shoot. You got me there. Can you handle this? I'll handle this. Uh, what is this again? 
Oh, it's CP. God, I keep forgetting to use my CP. But yeah, should be weak to... Yeah, weak to fire. Uh, let's see... 100% chance to unbalance. Oh, we'll go for this first. Bring it on. No, bitch. Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. Actually, this might kill anyway. Let's go for it. Nice. God. I like how they're all mostly the same, just a uh, different elemental effect. Well done. You did great that time. GG. All right. Nice work. Time to move in. Lead the way, Reen. Yes, Instructor. I like how Dash's the wings doesn't have any of the uh, the wheels. I can't see the texture <laughs> flickering. It looks as though they were able to make their way inside. God, what is the deal with Thomas? Still, there's no harm in putting some insurance in place. This man's been, uh... I don't know why, like, it's weird I still hasn't come into play at all yet. They haven't made their way uh, inside the Twin Dragons Bridge. Quickly reached the heart of the base, leaving countless thoroughly confused guards in their wake. All I hear is like a million footsteps. Right, we're in. Just have to find Fiona. I forget, racing against the clock in enemy territory. Hey, it might not be as heavily guarded. There's so likely plenty of soldiers in here. Stay alert. We need to find her and quickly. May the wind and the goddess be with us. Off to the rescue. Why does this percussion make me think of Metal Gear Solid? Uh, let me see. I would need to set up Machias, although I doubt I'm going to use him much. We'll do it really quick. Oh, we don't have a defense two for him. Oh well. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't know about that uh, lower level bonus. I don't think it was there in the um, the first game. Looking through what else I can give them. Hmm. I give that to Milliam actually. Let me see. 25%. Hmm. I might switch that around. Hold on. Let me see. Hmm. 
Do that and maybe. Hmm. Could I give her? Eh, probably better off having that. Okay. Anyone ever been to a hostess club? Nope. Well, at least for me, I don't know about anybody else. Wait, who has the lowest link experience? Um, Millions kind of up there. Elliot's pretty low. Sarah's level four. I'll go with Elliot. Actually, yeah, that's already set. All right, let's uh, proceed. Get a message? Oh, right. That was Best Buy telling me, uh, got delivered. Alright, give me a sec to go to where the map is. Here we go. Where's the entrance? Okay. Looks uh, pretty straightforward then. Watch out, guys! Here I go. Ah, there we go. Wow, we only have just about five hundred. Only be someone once for battle. But I guess you can't do it since it's, like, indoors. All right, let's do this! Right. Hmm. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. Soldier from the provincial army fights to defend the base. It's proud on the line, if he had any. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, I need to check their accessories afterwards. I think I can give uh, Sarah some better stuff. But this is fine for now. Forgot about that shit. Right Although it looks like if it's just gonna, uh, if it's gonna be these enemies, I need to give Reed some anti-paint if he's gonna be on the front. I'll remember how that went last time, trying to rescue Alvin. Jesus. All right, duly noted. Um, could go for this. Oh, just do normal now, just to get some CP up. Song of healing. Thanks. <laughs> yes, sir. Leave it to me. Does she have anything that causes impede? Surprisingly, no. Oh boy. 
let's move. I mean, he's still gonna be asleep for a while. But, uh, let me see. Alright, let's do this! My turn! Please stop missing. I messed up. Are you kidding me? Fucking hell. Arcus, activate! It's my turn! I guess I'll give Shining to Reen. Good boy. I wanted to use Resounding B, but then that happened. Let's move. No, she needs some heals. I messed up. If I can even get that far. It's my turn. If I can even get that far. Oh my goodness. God, but if I go there, Elliot's gonna be a sitting duck. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going for this. Arcus, activate. Yes, sir. Or fuck it. I'm just gonna go for this too. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Let's move. Yeah, we'll equip him with better faint stuff, because, uh, oh boy. Let me guess, she's gonna die before I get to do this tier up. Place your bets now, people. Place your bets. Okay, good. That's all I needed, game. I ain't asking for much. My turn. We'll cut our own path. Right. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's change our accessories. I've got it. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at me go! Exactly how it should be. Let's uh let's see here. God, the problem is though, he's got a decent accessory, but it's not faint. What's the best we can get to prevent faint right now? Wait, what does he have? 30%. I guess he's fine for now. He's in the back. Although, we should be giving him the, um, the belts. There we go. Now they can all resist, uh, faint pretty well. <laughs> Stream elements are silly, yeah. I mean, I guess I could set that shit up, but I wouldn't even know what to do. Finish watching that show. Lord. Also, wait, let me see. So I can either conscious, to be honest. Good luck. Um... How can I miss anything? Dollar bills. 
Marcus's face on it. Too much work. I'm going the wrong way. Actually, I'm not. Let's uh, use the charging station after that. It's e-money, though. <laughs> God. I don't know. We'll see. The thing is, I probably wouldn't do a contest unless I got, like, a lot of people. Maybe when I'm famous. Doubt. comes in and asks want to get famous. That'd be hilarious. Um, let's see. My turn. All right, let's do this. Okay. Okay. Keep it up, everyone! Here I go! Lemmy, give me a hand! I mean, with this mass records, yeah, this should be dumb. That's mainly why I wanted to set up, um, Millium with that mass records, because she's got a lot of crafts that are, like, AoE. Really good AoE, so... It seems like a pretty good setup. My turn! <laughs> for Mill. For a second I heard that as me. No complaints here. Oh, uh, what is this? The power of Zeo the Hawk. Balance plus 30. Oh, cool. Wait, so it's literally... Okay. Now you're just stealing Chloe's craft. I see you. But yeah, that's the thing where it's like... Millions of Master Crunch just comes with is like, good... But it's only good for one attack. It's like, I'd rather just her be offensive. Slightly more. Guys is now Agate and Chloe. Pretty much. Charge three, okay. Anybody in here? Oh boy, look at this place. And there's a vent. Can't believe this. Now's our chance. We can do this. God, what are these colors? These colors are out of control. Looking like it belongs in fucking Chex Quest or some shit. I don't know. My turn. Ooh. Okay. Here I go. There. Okay. Let's move. That's the power of the eight leaves. Great! Nice, he's already getting close to uh, level 80. Oh, uh, what am I missing here? I hope nothing catches my clothes. Okay. Uh, weird how there's just, like, no follow-up to that. I'm like, what do I say to that? <laughs> oh, what could it be? <laughs> Good lord. This girl's too much. Let's go, Lemmy! It's my turn! 
Oh, right. Okay. UG. Sorry. Random notebook. Anyway. Um, wow, wait, that's a lot of them. Here's a chest, though. I could say that was pronounced like a Japanese name. I can see that, Crux. Keep it up, everyone! My turn! I could just go. Yeah, I'll go for the S Craft. Of bullets and lightning. Uh, I'm balanced 10%. Oh, but still 90 is very good. <laughs> Look at me go! Yes! Thought it was a Gady. Hmm. I think for me, I assumed it was Agate only because of playing Xenoblade 2 prior. Because um, early on, I got one of the blades, and her name was Agate again. You know, just like that. So I already had my bout of mispronunciation prior. Watch out, guys. Too slow. Leave it to me. It's actually a gate. I get a gemstone after all. Yeah. Well, that's actually how it helped me learn it, because um, okay. that blade in particular, like her whole side quest line, was actually trying to find a certain type of a uh, type of rock or mineral for like research. I was like, oh, okay, it's agate. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, no. That's, uh, that's really bad. Uh, shit. Okay, well, at least confusion is gone, but my god. A million what confusion is now genuinely terrifying. Here goes. Thanks. Thanks. Let's move. Hey, what's up, X? How you doing? Oh, cool. Gets rid of uh, strength and ATS as well. Pronounce it in a Brazilian way. Thought it was Agate. So I saw the name in uh, Katakana. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. catches my clothes. Yes, we get it. Just like how I get that Tifa could use a good shower right now. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to repeated voice lines of JRPGs. JRPG fence always horny, yes. But if she got it, she got it. Um, no. Don't want it to. Be, uh, we could go for this. Wait, no, she sounds really low. Oh, that's right, because I used it on the um, 
the monster chest. I was like, why does she still have such low CP? Here I go. You know what? Fuck it. He's got the gladiator belt for a reason. Although, eh, for these three, it's kind of a waste. We'll do motivate. All right, let's do this. Right. Here I go. Let me give it a hand. Damn you, come! Another chance. You're mine. Leave it to me. Here we go. Okay, we're burning daylight. I do appreciate how there's a lot of um. How to explain? At least, like, two different variations of the same line, I've noticed. Um, you know, if they do repeat it often. I appreciate that. Oh, wait, is that another event? Is that on top? I'm trying to understand this layout. How do you get to the center point? What? Oh, maybe it has to do with that switch over there. I'll just keep going, then. What do you mean they can't be stunned? Don't mess it up. My turn. Here I go. Second form. Damn. It's my turn. Stop slapping your ass, fam. No. Reen is a firm believer in uh, Buenos Dias. Gotta let him know. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Kafai had to uh, teach him that complete. early. That was the first lesson he had to learn. Their monster used by the provincial army. Skilled at finding targets. Calling for aid when it finds one. Yes, sir! I mean, it's zero arts, but we don't really have anything great. Time for this again. Actually. Alright, you'll all get it. Yeah, but then it miss you all. You got Leave it to me! me. There we go. Nice. That's a good one, too. Just getting started. Dog reminds me of something I couldn't tell you. Check this one. I mean, I guess there's nothing here. Let's see if I miss anything around here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Didn't count as a uh, backside. Right. Keep it up, everyone. Okay. My turn. Uh, can you not, please? Actually, we'll go for this. No status in with them, unfortunately. Are you serious? Man, they all just... They just got bootleg, uh... 
screen crafts. I can't believe this. Right. Hey, Let's move. Second form. Game. Now's our chance. I'll get you up. My turn. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that feel when you actually try to align this just right and you finally have your way. This never happens. You didn't see that coming. Bless. Right. Hmm. How can I stop him? I can't really. All right. Here I go. Man, really? They got holy breath. Good to know, but Jesus. All right, both of you, stop that. Annoying okay. ass. Cease. Move. The easiest way to impede. I guess I have to. There. Now's our chance. I'll get you up. My turn. Oh my God! You just won't stop. All right then. It's got your name on it. Don't fall for it. Don't do it. You'll regret it next morning. I did it! I'm awesome! Uh, yes! Every time Makis' little, uh... Little cheer just kills me. It's a level up, fam. Calm down. My man sounded like it's Christmas. Oh, I can't open that yet. Ah, I see, I see. That's the other vent's for. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. I'm like, no. Hard no. Orange guy looks at the request say it's a hero from afar. I can see that. Getting levels and 14. <laughs> Callous of the Dead. God, that 90% is very helpful. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. Right. I mean, it's excessive now, but... Alright, let's keep going. He's got the Ingenuity Quartz, though, so it's fine. It's not even a waste. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I've got this. I like how Sarah's almost looks like she's flexing. Which is very accurate and very in-character. There sure are a lot of ducks here. Pretty old building. 
They've probably done a ton of expansions. Made using special resin. Hmm. Genshin Impact players with their trigger word. Uh, let's see. Check those rooms, I guess. Uh, there is still the center one I don't know how to get to. I guess I won't worry about it for now. We'll just keep going. Enemies ahead. We'll have to fight. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Okay. My turn. Now's our chance. Ready for a beat down? Might as well. Understood. Right. <laughs> a problem. It's people who are trying to grind this stuff to go done. I'm like, in reality, you already know what it is. It's just that it's not a problem to you. But you know exactly why. It's people that are rushing to get to all the stuff. You already know the answer. Oh shit, he even has that one? Are you serious? It does that much fucking damage. I messed up. What the actual fuck is that? What the actual fuck is that? Watch out, guys. What the actual? All right. That's bullshit, dude. That is utter shit. Rice. Okay. Right out. There. Yeah, you're mine. Right. Has so much health too. Like, look at this shit. Needs to be promoted to final boss. It's incredibly stupid. Like, what the fuck? I'm awesome. Exactly how it should be. No complaints here. Well, I guess when it comes to officials, I gotta delay them in general, because Christ, they have shit like that. We're like, what, halfway through the game? On the third floor. The top floor must be right above us. Let's keep up the pace. <laughs> Officials, yes. She is great. I do love all the memes that came out when that event happened and she had voice lines. Meanwhile, I didn't even get the free one because I didn't finish that event. But I already had her, so... Is what ifs. The best fish. This is true. It's my turn! Now! Got you! Okay! Out of character for a while. This is horrible. Oh, I saw the clip on Twitter, yeah. 
It was very yes, cute. Oh my god, stop. Here I go. Jesus, should I be more worried about, like, confused than faint now? I guess so. God, you can't win. Uh, also, let me see what I miss. Problem is, don't get why they have the expectations they have. Yeah. Like, they, they think it's gonna change, and it's like, it's not. I should have done a. Not first, I should have done a rush. Oh well. Uh, let's see. You ever just stop and think of, like, the characters, uh, stopping everything you're doing? Like, alright, guys, uh, take five. We got a softening ointment. Just, uh,. Apply it to all your ashy ass skin. You know you need it. This is very important. Fiona can wait. Uh, let me see. Mm. I think I'll leave some to be anti confused. Let me see. We have at least one of those. Yeah. Because confused with Milium is way more nasty than her being with, you know, inflicted with fate. Adventures is Japanese, yeah, what? I had no idea, Rondrix. I've been playing in uh, English. So I actually can't guess. Lloyd Bannings? Okay. I would have had no idea. I'm one of those heathens who prefers playing games with English stuff if it's good. Crazy, I know. Oh, okay, I already checked that room. Hmm, okay. Let me show you why I'm called the purple. Leave it to me. Japanese voices couldn't tell during the event. That it was normie. <laughs> nice. My turn. Right. Hey. Yes, sir. There. Well, that's that. Let's get going. No paper engine hasn't uploaded in two weeks. Oh, artist. Yeah, I was about to say all paper engine. Very small, cramped corridors. Sure are a lot of crates and stuff in the way. Hard to find time to tidy up when there's a war going on, I guess. I mean, I guess, but how does it get this bad? Unless somebody was, like, unloading a truck or something? They just said, eh, fuck it, we're gonna put it right here. You know what? Do I really want to deal with this? No. Gather on my blade. Nice. Leave it to me. Cool animations with it. Super simple. Hmm. I'll have to look into it. It's my turn! 
Wait, they should probably have this anyway. Keep it up, everyone. Yes, sir. <sighs> okay. Here I go. <laughs> Curse you. Christ. Okay, we're burning daylight. I've got it. Oh, that treasure chest looks really nice. Oh man. Seems uh pretty good. I mean I hate the MC bias. I hate doing it, but if he's gonna be on the front lines, we should probably have that. more power. I mean, technically, he does have a double trigger mode. Although, I guess it's ogre trigger now? <laughs> I don't even. Let me show you why I'm called the Purple Lightning! Let's move! Uh, no, we'll do motivate. Or actually, I don't think we'll need it for this. at high speed and bounce 20% and seal 60. <laughs> yes! Imagine if before fishing an enemy off, such a power active ring just went into ogre now, I would die too much. Um... Oh yeah, we're in this room now. Is there anything else in here? A chest or something? I guess not. No one paid Sean to say it's ogre time. Oh my lord. I hope nothing catches my clothes. Yes, we know, Sarah. We know. You're very concerned. Did you know she got the titty? Where is the spot? Top floor. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Progress? I don't want progress. Shit. Um. Hmm. I double check the map. Rather than go backwards. Hmm. Okay. Oh man, looks like we did miss something. Okay, okay. Make him say it during one of his streams. God. Yeah, he would do it. Clean audio so I can insert it for a mod. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, I might be a little too big for this. There we go. That one's for you, Soul. Ha! Bring it on. My turn. Second four. Damn. I was about to lose my mind if Rain just kept missing. Okay. Keep it up, everyone. A mile away, pretty much. Right 
the whole point is you should be seeing it from a mile away. Because you want to. Oh, I wasn't even going with that one. <laughs> but okay, Soul. I mean, if that's what you think, man. I ain't gonna stop you. Second form. I ain't yeah. gonna judge. <laughs> I seriously wasn't thinking that, though. Christ. He wields a spear for a reason. <laughs> God. My turn. Now. Elliot, back me up. Okay. Leave it to me. Okay, we're burning daylight. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> Look at me go. Oh, nice. Fate 50 is uh, pretty good. No complaints here. Cyclones. Wow. Wait, how much CP does that cost? So it seems like damage would be pretty high. Or would be pretty high. Ah, okay, okay. I didn't notice the S. I thought it was a normal craft. I was like, wait a minute, what? But oh, cool. Weird how Gaius of all characters is the first one to get that. I thought it'd be like, I don't know, Green getting it first because of MC status. But alright. Did it automatically switch to the better one? Okay, yeah, it did. I mean, they're both AoEs, so why would I want Calamity Hawk? That's always been the weird part of um, being able to choose your S-Craft. Unless it's something like, let's say... I think Ellie and another character had this thing where it's like, do you want the offensive art or the one that heals the party? There usually isn't a reason to choose. But it'd be nice to know how the damage scaling works, so... That one just seems overall better. Why would you ever go back? The wind decided to give Gaius two S crafts. So wait, where am I going? Okay, I'm going the right way. Every time. I can't move any faster in these. I tried holding R1, it does nothing. I'm going backwards. Shit. Let's move. It's fine, we'll deal with this now, I guess. You know what? Guys, get in here. Sorry, with pleasure. Might as well show it off. Oh, Bruh. <laughs> He's really just commanding him with the spear. All I'm thinking of is that fucking Axel Kingdom Hearts 2 meme. 2. Yes, 2. God. Do it again. Arcus activate. All right. Sorry. Can you handle this? I've got this. Gosh darn it. Here I go. Curse you. Well, that's that. Let's get going. Just shooty. Two spheres. We're getting that too big, PP. God damn it! What's happening in chat? Ha! 
All right. Uh, let me go back. Just a soul demanded. Thank God for Turbo. I might be a little too. Ha! Ha! Let me tell you why I'm called the Purple Lightning. I mean, I can't be too mad with all the fights going on because we do need them. All right, let's do this. I notice we're a little bit behind on levels. Are you okay? Thanks. Okay. Don't even mix. This is true. Can't believe it. Going the wrong way again? Oh, no, we should be going the right way. Oh, thank God nobody said anything. It's a miracle. Holy shit. Get away from me. Gift of silence. Let's go, Lammy. What do you mean that didn't count as a single advantage? What? I was right behind them. Here I go. All right, let's do this. You got Leave it to me. Turn a corner, you jump scared okay. by the terrifying visage of Mishi. Oh god, that'd be amazing. It was worth it. Here I go. Okay. It's my pick. Here I go. We'll cut our own path. Nice. Good God, it gets even dumber. Cool. I've got it. Exactly how it should be. <laughs> it's a miracle. Get away from me. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, that treasure chest looks really nice. Hey, right, cool. Then, uh, now, for real, for real, that's, uh, everything. Time to go back to those, uh, damn vents. No. I like how they just instantly, like, give up once you touch the vent. That's it. Now you know what everyone's thinking. I guess. Almost bited that shores or ass. He would. It's trademarked. My turn. Oh yeah, let me make sure they don't have 200 boss fights coming up. Second form. Damn. He should get it back with the belt. I'll back you up. It's my turn. Hmm. 
I guess I'll do Tyr instead. Try this. Thanks. Yes, sir. Perfect. Uh, not perfect with that many misses, but okay. Let's move. It's my turn. My turn. Yes, sir. Okay. Here I go. Uh, they're all at two hundred. All right. Let's do this. Can what? you not? Oh boy. I mean, a tear should be enough with it being one point seventy-five now. Argus, activate. Try this. Yep. Leave it to me. Curse. Oh god, our health was really low. Probably not gonna make it in time. Just use an item. I don't want to risk it. Not miss. Can, can we do that? Try this. Here I go. There we go. Well, that's that. Let's get going. <laughs> Look at me go. All right. Should be uh good here. Should be just beyond that door. Like, there's gotta be something over there. You can't just give us two options and not have something behind there. Or it could just be an empty room, I don't know. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, camera. Thank you. Dramatic zoom in. Any ornaments I want. God, I never bother customizing weapons. I feel like maybe I should be doing it, but I hardly ever do. Either way, um, let me save here. Well, let me see. Is there anything the guy recommends? Accessories or clip or something? Doesn't seem like it. Elliot? <gasps> How you do? Fiona. God, I can see the. Uh, and your friends are with you too. I can see the compression on the eye uh, graphics. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, designed for uh, 360p. It's good to see you're safe, Fiona. At least when they zoom in, you know. <laughs> hey, Fiona, your knights in shining armor are here. I don't know how I can possibly begin to thank you. And just look at you, Elliot. You've grown so much since I last saw you. Also, I believe she didn't have a voice in TS1 either. Very pretty. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so
Silence, girl. Do you have any idea of the situation you're in? Oh my god. <laughs> I can just see whoever did the voice for this man, like the second he sees an R, the second he sees the letter R, he's just like, oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. I've been waiting for this. And that goes for the rest of you too. <laughs> God damn it. Don't come any closer. That is, if you value her life. Every single R. No, Fiona. Hmm. The word noble truly has lost all meaning if the upper class thinks nothing of using hostages as shields. Take that filthy sword of yours away from her at once. I think you're the one who doesn't understand the situation that they're in. You can tell they were shitposting in the booth pretty much. Like, this is the one time where I'm like, this is just a shitpost NPC. If you put so much as a scratch on her, you can forget your chances of getting out of here unharmed. And it looks like the Jaegers your boss hired aren't here. So you can kiss any backup plans you've got up your sleeve goodbye. You can surrender peacefully, or you can walk out of here with one less hand. Your call. God, she's so good. I love Sarah. <laughs> you talk big now. It's still some of the best delivery in this English sub. But you're going to regret ever setting foot in the Twin Dragon's Bridge. <laughs> and then there's this. Man, the sky callbacks just keep happening. They just keep happening. What? Those doggies are huge! Are these like the ones we fought underneath Berehard? Please, be careful! It can be a Yakuza with all those R's, pretty much. Must be a huge fan of Tim Hortons. I love the rib contest ads, what the fuck? Charles would be like, you want to fight two big dogs? I sure do. <laughs> Those are no ordinary beasts. Oh my goodness. Go forth, geyser dovins. Tear them to shreds with your ferocious fangs. <laughs> just, just why? We're going to have to take them out. Right. Stay there, Fiona. We'll save you as soon as we've taken care of this. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that one looks tough. This will be fun. All right. Right. Keep it up, everyone. Here I go. Let's do this! Yeah. My turn. Hmm. Yeah, Seal's got like a 10% chance. Delay might be a good idea. Actually, we'll do this. Yo! Oh my goodness. Uh, Zelda, thank you for the raid. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Jesus Christ. Uh, how, how's it going? How'd your, uh, how'd your last stream go? I'm guessing we're just done streaming. <laughs> Get raided, bro. You're damn right. Bless. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Even if it's just for the raid. Hope you all are having a, uh, a good Monday. Well, as good of a Monday as you can. I'm just in the middle of this boss fight, so uh, don't mind me. Uh, what was I even going to do? That, that completely threw me off. Say you're going to look a bit? Yeah, no worries, no worries. <laughs> this is like... The sequel to a long-running series, so I don't blame you guys if it's just uh, saying hi. In the middle of a boss fight, no less. Uh, let's see. Uh, I could give it to Rena, actually. What's this game? Who made it? Oh gosh. Um, 
so... Uh, yeah, if anybody could field some questions in chat, let me know. Or, you know, rather, please do. Yeah, yeah this is Trails of Cold Steel 2. This is made by Falcom. They're a pretty small um, studio. Uh, you might know them if you've ever heard of the E-Series. Um, maybe not. It's still not an incredibly popular, you know, series out here in the West. Um, but the E-Series is, like, you know, very good, uh, action RPG series. But, uh, it's the same people who did that. They do the Trail series as well. Trail series is a very long-running, uh, JRPG series with a lot of continuity. There's, like, ten games, and they all have, like, their own separate arcs, but they're all, like, they all have their own continuity and world-building and whatnot, so... They all kind of build off each other, but it's a big ask. It's a big commitment. I like it, though. If you like JRPGs, it's a good series to get into, but it's not for everybody. First one to start with would be Trails in the Sky. They usually go on sale on Steam or GOG. But, um... You're more than welcome to also start on, um, Trails of Cold Steel 1. Also, I'm dying. It's my turn. Should have been paying attention. Um... But you're more than welcome to start at Cold Steel 1 as well. It's the start of another arc in the series. So, uh... You can pretty much start wherever you want. Um... Uh, Marcus loves JRPGs too. Yeah. Um, JRPGs and fighting games are like my two favorite genres. I stream usually, so... If you like JRPGs, uh... I'll probably stream your favorite at some point. I already streamed, uh, Tales of Berserk as well, which I know, uh... Zalda was streaming uh, recently. But uh, I played that back in, I think, 2016? Is that in 2016 or 2017? I'm not sure. Might have been 2017. But I played that one too, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Here comes a new challenger. Yo, JFlight120, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, streaming some cosplay photo edits. Got uh, for little again, so I have time during the week to get you back for a raid. Raid me at night all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's just how it is. But thank you, though. I appreciate it. Uh, let's get this man back up. Thanks. Yes, sir. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Hmm. God, Stream Prof's only going to last for one more turn. Eh, just do the S break right now. Still can't get over our literally just female Dante. But I'll take it. Tina Games. Name Falcom familiar there too. They're designed basically an embodiment of Falcom there. Oh, I had no idea, Rondrix. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll have her do it too. Fuck it. Do all the supers. C good old Falcom, yes. Nah, they're still pretty small here, though. I don't blame anybody for not knowing them. Well, we definitely gotta heal him back up. He ain't looking so good. But at the same time, having the HP region will be nice anyway, so... Oh, I know. We got the meter for it, so... Overdrive! Oh, but yeah, if anybody else has uh, any questions about the series, feel free to ask them in chat. Who knows? You might like it. You might not. It's a fun series, though. Um, although I will say, um, so... Conversely, they're kind of like brother-sister series to me. Like, one kind of makes up for the other's, like, you know, faults. So, if the Trails series having several games seems very intimidating to you, uh, I highly recommend checking out the E-series. E-series, um, made by the same company. They're shorter action RPG games that last a good few hours, but not a ton compared to these games. 
and they're all completely standalone. So, uh, if you don't know what to play, you should probably get on East 8. That's, like, considered a very good one that just came out a couple years back in the West. Uh, let me go for this. Actually, wait, no. Keep it up, everyone! East one, let's go. <laughs> no, the whole point is you can play them in any order you want for the East series, so. East say it's very good. Although, if you don't mind going a bit more retro, East Origin is also very fun. Play those for Code Seal. Yeah, um. They're action, but how would I describe them? They're very much like Hack and Slash, sort of beat them up, you know, I think like very simple controls, but very fun. Um, it's, it's just very addicting, like, simple combat, but it's very fun. Very flashy, too. You just want to press buttons and feel good doing them. E-Series, uh, just really got that. Pretty Zelda as well, yeah. It's like, ac uh, more action-based, like, top-down... Well, for the older ones. It's like a more action-based, top-down Zelda. But for the more modern ones, yeah. It's, um... It's a more action-based Zelda, kind of. Uh, also, sorry, I'm distracted fueling stuff, so... I gotta make progress on this boss fight. For real, for real. I'm gonna focus a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. What should I do here? Just normal attacks for now. Okay. Hmm. Should I do? I'm trying to think. Hmm. I'm thinking. We'll just go for this, honestly. That gets most of them. That's fine. Here's a performance especially for you. I still don't know how this works, but he does it. <laughs> Give me a bump system high five, I don't even need to. You've been a wonderful audience. The rainbow juice. Nice damage too. Let's move. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Well, this will probably be the safest thing. Here goes. Overdrive. All right, let's do this. Yeah. It's my turn. Just to keep him alive. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Let's move. All right. Now what? I guess I could do motivate again. You could stack up uh, two strength ups. All right. Let's do this. Very into those these days more than turbase. Yeah. No. Same here, Zelda. If I had the choice. Oh my goodness. They really just. They, I mean, pardon the pun, they really just dogpiled on Rain. Uh, Jesus, I had 100 CP to use my, uh, super. Down the drain. Um, but no, I'm like that too. I very much prefer action-based games. But, um, I like the trail series enough to, you know, um, play turn-based. But, uh, my preference is easily in, uh, action-based RPGs as well. Or at least, like, hybrids, because growing up as a kid I played the, uh, the Paper Mario games. And they kind of had a nice mix of, like... It was turn-based, but you were always doing something in the fight, whether it was, like, trying to perfect block attacks and whatnot. At least the older ones. So, um, a good mix is nice, at the very least. But the E-Series is fantastic. Um, I gotta go back and play some of the other ones. But, uh, yeah, E-Series is an easier recommend than the Trail Series, in my opinion. Can't really go wrong with any of those games. Especially if you're in the mood for the uh, slightly retro vibe they have. They're very nice. 
Wait, no, I should use the uh, revive. They do so much damage. This ain't looking pretty. There we go. It's my turn. God, can they just keep summoning them? I guess so. Keep it up. Oh yes, my sir. goodness. Does so much damage. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Well, as much as I'd revive her, that's gonna take both turns. So, uh, I'll do this instead. Actually, hmm. I could try to... I don't think she's gonna get to... 100 CP with just one attack. I'll try though. <sighs> Not quite. Let's move. Not quite. All right then. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. <laughs> Screw it. Use it now. Almost got him, but not quite. God, these guys are persistent. It's my turn. Also nice, 69 CP. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. My turn. Hmm. Now's our chance. I'll take it. Elliot, back me up. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, this should end it. Alright, we're free. We're free, everybody. Get these dogs out of here. Gotta run for dinner. I want to consider the only, usually the one telling me this. See you later. Have a great time. Yeah, don't worry, Zelda. Take care. Thanks for the raid once again. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Remedy Oratorio, what? Oh, that's an S-Craft. Cool. So this is what I was talking about before, where it's like, you know, okay, now we actually have a reason to pick one or the other with uh, Elliot's S-Craft here. Seems pretty good, though. Also, uh, let's go to Mist in Chat. Releasing a new volume this month. Nice, I need to keep up with it. Hmm. Okay, didn't miss anything else. I will say, though, for anybody that's uh, still on the stream and has no idea of what's going on, uh, long story short, uh, Elliot here, this boy, they're trying to rescue his sister. She was taken as a... Uh, pretty much as a hostage, so they're trying to free her. But that's all I can really say for context. There's too much to cover. This is uh, several games in, so... If you're confused... I'm sorry, I can't do much for you. Check out the series if you can. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Look at me go! Exactly how it should be. Oh, what does he get? Three turns, crush the spells with the custom shotgun. Oh, bounce 50 is pretty good. No complaints here. <laughs> this... This can't be happening! God. There. This voice acting is just utter clown. Oh, we did it. As an NPC should be, though. Thank goodness you're all okay. I think it's about time you toss that sword aside, don't you? <laughs> I'm not finished yet. Really, we got more? Are you serious? Just got more dogs at the ready. Away. 
And yet, logic would tell you, if you had more of those stored away, why don't you just use all four of them? There's more of them. Instant death. You're only delaying the inevitable. Give up and surrender. S silence! You should be the one surrendering. Oh my god. Who did this? If this commoner's life means anything to you, then enough of this nonsense. Damn. Uh-huh. It's been 20 years. That's... Whoa. The lad. Ah! I mean, I'm pretty sure swords don't work that way, but I'll take it. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> he really just did that. Fiona! Your... Instructor Nightheart! Really just kicked this man. I'm pleased to see you all again. Falcon pretending Nightheart is important again, pretty much. But I'm no longer your instructor. So you should address me as Major Nightheart now. That's the first thing he has to say, though, really? Glad to see you too, man. Well, look who showed up to steal all the glory. I know, right? Can you believe this guy? Good to see you alive, Major Nightheart. Likewise. Fiona, are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. I'm perfectly fine. Um... Thank you, Elliot, for coming to save me. For being okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you're okay, too. I'm so worried. Thank you, each and every one of you. How could I ever possibly repay you? <laughs> We're just glad that you're all right. Getting to hear you play the piano again is all the thanks I need. <laughs> the Lieutenant General should have this fortress under control before long. You can relax, at least for now. I mean, we'll see about that. <laughs> the business boot, pretty much. With that, Twin Dragon's Bridge fell with minimal conflict. Unfortunately, they were able to rescue Fiona unharmed. Sounds good. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the Tetris uh, T-spin uh, collision. You know, it's a very, very dramatic way to go. Fourth Armored Division occupied the base. Soldiers who were stationed there were forced to retreat back to Keldic. However, Keldic was ill-suited as a base, and they quickly abandoned it. Edging farther south. I mean, I could have told you that one. They eventually joined forces with those stationed within Berea Hard, and together they strengthened the city's defenses. Fourth Armored Division, meanwhile, chose not to pursue them, electing only to free Keldic. And as another Noble Lion's force was stationed along the route to Trista, the stalemate between the two armies resumed. Kratos, sorry, that is here to carry on the Craig Bud line. I believe it. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined Her Highness coming to my daughter's rescue. I am truly humble. How can I possibly repay the kindness you have bestowed upon my family? Uh, give us all your Mira. <laughs> you needn't repay me for a thing, General. We're all just glad that everything ended without incident. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah. By the way, that was pretty slick timing on your part, Major. I thought you'd been acting separately from the 4th Armored Division all this time. Indeed. We were told you were in Western Erebonia. That's correct, actually. 
I was away getting in contact with the other divisions, the seventh included. Hmm. Yesterday, however, I caught word that Miss Craig had been moved here. As soon as I heard the news, I hurried here in record time. But why her? You got a... You got a thing for her, my dude? Oh, you're so sweet, Nightheart. Not at all. I simply did as anyone in my position would. Yeah, they're probably gonna get together, aren't they? Huh? What's up with those two? This is very implied right now. He's got the hots for her. I can tell. Pretty much, yeah. She knows. We all know. Huh? But they've known each other for ages, though. Ah, so it's been a thing for a while now, Elliot. You don't say. <coughs> Still, it's unlike you to act on a whim, I thought. <laughs> Perhaps it's a sign you're becoming more flexible as a soldier, and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> Everyone going woo. <laughs> I do realize that, but it was in part due to receiving some guidance from a rather peculiar source. Hmm. And having discovered a way into the base thanks to that, I resolved to make use of it. So two things, he's either talking about Thomas or he's talking about Crow. A peculiar source? Kind of like with us and that weird guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's most likely this. Do you mean... Yeah. You wouldn't happen to be referring to a suspicious hooded man, would you? As it so happens, I am. Is he an acquaintance of yours? <laughs> the goat, I don't even. Well, acquaintance is a strong word. Oh god, it's a bot, get him. Suspicious is right, though. Kill it. Now you've got me curious. Well, leaving him aside for the time being, the 4th Armored Division will be assuming control of the Twin Dragons Bridge from this point forward. Leave everything here to us. You need only to focus on deciding your next destination. Should you require any supplies, you may want to stop by Keldic before leaving. Thanks, Dad. We are pretty short on supplies, so that sounds like an excellent idea in my book. While you may have ended up fighting alongside the Imperial Army this time, I do feel that there is significance in you continuing to act as a third faction. I will be wishing you well. Thank you, Major. <laughs> right back at ya. Catch you later, Fiona. Bye! Be safe. The besties. At least I assume they're good friends. After saying your goodbyes, uh, Class 7 left those at the Twin Dragons Bridge behind. As for Lieutenant General Craig's uh, suggestion, they chose to stop by the newly liberated Keldic. And while the Courageous was being resupplied, they decided to walk around and check up on the townsfolk. For some reason, I thought I was going to cut to like several days later. I was like, Jesus, it's a very long break he got there. Oh yeah, I was going to mention this too for context. If anybody's wondering why the game looks uh, a little older than usual. Um, Cold Steel 1 and 2 were actually being developed for like the PS Vita first hand. So, uh, yeah. They ain't the prettiest looking games, but, you know, it still looks alright on PC. Oh, um, if anybody is also curious, Cold Steel 1, or actually the whole series is on PS4 as well, if you have one of those. So got everything went well. So have some time until we have to leave. I know Becky and uh designer are somewhere around here. Maybe I should catch up with uh with them. I'm kinda curious what the rest of the gang is up to too. On the coins which can be used to trigger bombing events, allocated to you on stopover days. Add storage to support the courageous at the eastern exits. Calix sound map can be accessed by pressing the square button. Okay. Five points. Oh my god, there's so many options. That is uh, overwhelming. Oh my goodness. That is so many people. Uh, alright. So, let me check the guide here. I am using a guide for this, for anybody that does not know, so... 
Just bear with me as I skim through. I just want to make sure I get everything. That's my problem at Taco Bell. Too many people? Yeah. I guess if uh, Taco Bell's overstaffed, it does look intimidating. I'm messing with you. Uh, let's see. Stick to Gibson. Let's see on the left. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is it mainly just getting books? Okay, talking to Becky. Okay, this is very brief. There's no side quest or anything. Thought there'd be a hidden uh, side quest or something we'd have to take care of. Oh, yeah, it should be good. to buy anything from this guy? Not really. I'm just checking through all the shops. Set right up, folks. We got another big sale going on today as well. Just in case you didn't feel like these prices are enough of a steal, here you go. Bit of goodwill on my part. Ooh, nice. But I don't think he sells anything else. No. But what's that energy bandana? Prevent sleep. I mean, it's 5%, but now we're good. There should be one more vendor I think we need to buy something from. Let me look around. Or was that it? Hmm. Maybe on the uh, side here? No. Hmm. Was that everything? I got over 10, got 9. That's on the west end of town. Okay. Hmm. Don't even know who I'm gonna spend my points on. I mean, I know one's going to Elise, obviously, but does anybody have, um, any other preferences for the next four bonding points to use. I'm game. Oh, uh, where's Becky? What's on the menu? All right, yeah, I should probably show that, shouldn't I? So we got Emma, Yusus, Alfin, Machius, Milium, Sarah, V, Laura, Gaius, Toa, <laughs> Elliot, pretty much everything. Uh, so yeah. Take your pick, y'all. Four points. Sarah Forever. She is great. Good choice. Uh, perfect timing, Reed. Hey there, Becky. Looking much better than the last time we saw you. <laughs> the wind, of course. Air self, uh, thank for that. Absolutely mental over at Twin Dragon Spirits, didn't you? Leave you. Didn't have to tell me. Or rather, didn't even tell me that you'd be, uh, Doing that beforehand? God, it's like I, I'm not gonna try to do this accent, so like try to parse it back to normal English is uh it's a challenge, alright. Sorry about that. Yesterday was the first chance we've had to come to Celtic in a long time. What? Does this mean you're up for coming with us? Damn right. Gathered a bunch of stuff uh, for the lads over at Grand Market. Ready to go? Wanna take no uh no for an answer too? Didn't think you would. More than glad to have you aboard. Landed well, the courageous not far from here, so I can introduce you to everyone laid. Money for that. Heading in now. Brush up in merchant skills while I've got the chance. Ah, uh, we doubt Hugo. I'll never know what hit him. That's it. Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> I almost wish. I almost wish with that slam effect, like, it was just, like, a Looney Tunes, like, cutout of her body going, like, past the door instead of it opening. I'm not gonna lie. I wish. Give her the rundown of everything on the ship later. God. 
Oh, man. Becky's pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got Sarah and we got Gaius. We'll definitely do them. Uh, let me see if I miss anything here. Speak to the owner market. Free consumables. Hmm. Okay. Then I guess that's the only other thing we have to do. Uh, here we go. Here they are. Heroes who conquered the Twin Dragons Bridge by themselves. Um, thanks, but heroes might be overdoing it. I'm just teasing. Give yourself some credit, though. Thanks to you that the Provincial Army's gone. Really owe you one. Not much, but here. This one's on the house. Thanks, ma'am. Looks delicious. Be rude to not accept it after she took the time to make it. I mean, ain't wrong. <laughs> now you're talking, bring on the booze, but of course you would. But try not to drink yourself into oblivion. I mean... If it's anything like Shara, that's not going to happen. Alright, so now we'll do the bonding events. We'll go with Gaius first, just for soul. Also, I'm just looking at where the other uh, objectives are. Wait, we have to go on the highway? Oh wait, I guess it's just that we have to leave to get on the ship, I suppose. Yeah, I can't do it from here. Makes sense. What's up, man? Look at that windmill off in the distance. Amazing, aren't they? Wonder what led people to think of harnessing the wind's blessings like that. Perhaps the wind's the reason this market merchants uh, market's merchants are as resilient as they are. That yeah, seems particularly interested in Keldic's windmills. I wonder why. <laughs> it's a mystery, guys. Well, they mentioned it. Marcus, Ellie, and Fee were hiding out in a windmill on the highway for a while. We could go ask the farmer who owns it to let us take a look around if you'd like. I can't think of anything I'd like more. What are we waiting for? Let's get going. Of course. Well, ain't nothing to see here. Just two dudes uh, going off to see a windmill. Went to find Machias, who in turn uh, introduced them to the farmer who owned the windmill. Once they had his blessing, they headed out onto East Caldic Highway. That's the one they were hiding out in uh, during their time here. Huh? That's odd. The windmill stopped. Yeah, maybe something happened? We should go let the farmers know about it. <laughs> the wind is dead. He can't believe it. Dreamy Sashimi. I really like that name. That rolls off the tongue. Uh, thank you for the follow. That's a fun username. Uh, seems to be a problem brought out on by aging. See that rust on the cog up there? It's stopping the blades from uh, turning properly. I see. Is it difficult to fix? Not at all. All that needs doing is replacing the cog. It'll be good as new. As it so happens, I have spares here just for times like these, so we don't even need to go anywhere to get them. Oh no. I just realized I took the stepladder that was here back to the farmhouse. Couldn't be able to reach the cog without it. I'll have to go back home and get it. No, that won't be necessary. Rita and I could reach, uh... Or, sorry, could reach it if we work together, I think. Huh? Pfft, I knew it. What am I looking at? Yeah, this is pretty high, alright. <laughs> Think you could reach it? Pretty sure, yeah. Just so you know, uh, don't drop me. Or rather, uh, just, you know. I think I can manage that. Oh, to be young again. Here you go. This here's a replacement cog. Blade should start turning again once that's in. <laughs> the new form, Ogre Wind. <laughs> uh, I don't even. It's working? Sounds like the turbines are blowing with the wind again. It would have taken a lot longer if not for your help. 
Thank you kindly. Let me treat you to some freshly baked uh, bread for the trouble. It was made with rye that was ground right here in this mill. Are you sure? Thank you very much. They will end the civil war with the swarm, yes. That was delicious. Another one of the wind's blessings. Having the opportunity to see a windmill up close was a pleasure, too. Thanks for showing me, Reen. I owe you one. Likewise. This windmill kind of reminds me of you, you know? <laughs> you don't say. Really? How so? Windmill stands tall and dignified, always in tune with the wind. But there's also the fact that they provide for us in inconspicuous ways. Kind of like you, guys. Guess I'm just realizing how reliable you are all over again. Thanks. I'm flattered, really. I'll do what I can to live up to that image. We can't rely on you all the time, though. That's too much of a burden for one person. But let's see what we can together. That's it. As they fade out, who knows what'll happen. After observing the windmill for a while longer, they return to town. Aye. There we go. <laughs> Gaius, you are so windmill, yes. Kaldic really knows how to brew a damn good beer. Should have known I'd find you here. Still, hard to argue she hasn't earned it. This time, anyway. She seemed preoccupied with, uh, preoccupied the whole time we were at the Twin Dragons Bridge, too. Hmm? What's that stare? Nothing much. Just be careful you don't end up getting so smashed you end up getting left behind here, okay? Don't you worry. I'm an instructor. I already caught that unawares. Besides, I have years of practice. Oh, maybe I should haul a few barrels of beer on board for when I need a little pick-me-up? Proposal denied. We're a student-run airship. You can't just haul whole kegs of booze on board. What a killjoy. <laughs> hmm, so I say we're here for a bit? I'm a little concerned about her. Well, just in case, I think I'm gonna stay with you for a, uh, a little while. Afraid to say, I wouldn't put it past you to drink yourself under the table and someone get left behind here. Oh, come on, you can at least, uh, rummage up a little good faith in your instructor. Oh well, can't say I mind having some company. Target, uh, s <laughs> for some reason, I was about to say smug instead of mug. God help me. Uh, a mug of your best, uh, lager for my student? A tea would be fantastic, thanks. <laughs> Christ. Get me a smug of beer. Boy, that hit the spot. Fear me again, Margaret. Yeah, already? Aren't you chugging those down kind of fast? No problem. One quick snooze to counter... <laughs> one quick snooze to counter the booze is all I need. God, I love this, uh... I love this script. Don't worry, Reen. Sarah's a relatively harmless drunk. She'll drink away, have some fun, pass out for a while, then wake up in tip-top shape. That's how most people tend to let her drink as she pleases. I've never seen her cause that much trouble while drunk, actually. Got her all on board with my drinking, then. Hey, where's that refill? Sorry, but we're all out. Say it ain't so. Hard to get a steady supply nowadays, thanks to the sad state of, uh, of the Grand Market. But all that today as well, since it's a special occasion. I'm afraid yours is the last one. Might be able to get your hands on some if you head over to the Grand Market, though. Oh, baby, fortune's on my side after all. <laughs> she would do it. Hey, Reen, got a little job for you. Join me in my quest to acquire booze. Allow me to respectfully decline. Ah, uh, you really gonna make a drunk carry stuff on her own? Pretty please, with a cherry on top? Keep her seats, Margaret. I'll be right back. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I mean... Oh, well. Buy a barrel or two and I'll pay for you for it later. Roger. Wait, we're really doing this? Yes, you have no choice, Reen. Absolutely no choice. Despite Reen's objections, he was tracked to the Grand Market against his will. After finding and buying some barrels of Celtic Special Brew, the poor boy was then forced, uh, asked politely, to carry them all the way back. Sure. Are these filled with concrete or something? 
Oh, come on, man up already. Gotta hurry so I can get back to drinking. Sorry, but I need a minute to catch my breath. Your love for alcohol never ceases to amaze. Master Kofi and Dan are the same way, but they're older. I don't think alcoholism is a common in, uh, as common in people as young as you. I really know how to flatter a lady, mister. I'm kind of surprised I came to like it this much myself, actually. I only ever got this way because I was copying someone else at first? Copying, you say? Who would that be? Oh? What do you mind if I asked you who you were copying? A certain gentleman to whom I owe a fair amount. He's the type of person who'd fit right in an empty bar, strolling his bourbon oh so tenderly. I'm gonna have to look up to that image, which is how it all started. Hmm... Whoops, this probably isn't a conversation to be having with one of my students, huh? Just, uh, try and forget I said anything. Nothing that important anyway. Well, it's not often I get to hear you talk about these things. I have to ask, though. Is this where your fondness for a classy gentleman originated from? Who knows? I'll let you figure that one out. More importantly, though, get back to caring. Feel myself sobering up here? But on it, fair madam. <laughs> Doubt. Good lord. After carrying the barrels back, Reen was forced to bear witness to yet another intense drinking session. Uh, Bomb Sector Sarah strengthened. Cool. I'll take that. Potentially dead. Uh, let's see. Alright then, in between we'll do, uh, Elisa. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Is there really no... Oh, wait. Let me check that vendor. Still feels weird how there's no, like, side quests. Okay, we did get that. I just want to double-check the guide here. Hmm. Yeah, there's really nothing. Okay, sorry. I just have to make sure, because this is, like, the first time where we go to a spot and there's, like, nothing else. Kind of hard not to get a little nostalgic being back here, isn't it? Looking back on all those requests we did, all messed with the Grand Market last time we were here. And none of us ever thought things would get this crazy back then. Oh well, less than taking a stroll down memory lane when I could actually walk around and look at things here. Should I ask if she wants some company? So we got two more points. Hmm. I might do Laura and Toa, now that I think about it. Yeah, I'll go right ahead. Where should we start? He decided that they'd go back to see the parts of town that had the biggest impact on them. The windmill, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. The weathercock, front and center. It's kind of surreal thinking about how this is where it all started. Getting dragged out here and handed a bunch of requests from the townsfolk sure was something. It certainly was an interesting experience. Especially with Inspector Sarah's refusal to help us at all. Though it all makes sense now that we know she's a former bracer. Thanks to all those field studies, we learned how to think and operate independently. Yeah, and normal students wouldn't have gotten the same opportunity to learn uh, things that way. The fact that we overcome so much since then just goes to show what an effective method it was, right? Effective is right. We can keep applying what she taught us even now. Well, this grand market sure brings back memories, too. Where things really kicked off for us. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, like, yes, the places that had a significant impact, and yet anybody going to Keldic would go to these exact same locations, too. Uh, this is where things really kicked off for us. Definitely. First there was a dispute between those merchants. Then we got caught up in that case with those bandits. <laughs> it's kind of funny, too. I think the last time, um, Zelda hosted a Raider B was actually when we were in this segment in Cold Steel 1. It's kind of funny how it comes full circle. I don't think I've ever questioned so many people in my life. That was tough, but our teamwork uh, helped us pull through in the end. If we had been uh, short by even one person, I doubt things would have gone as well as they did. Especially if you hadn't, uh, if you hadn't been there. Played a huge part in the whole thing. Wait and play the guy's ego. I mean, he doesn't need it. He really doesn't need it. <laughs> God. All that's left now is the highway. Granted, we can't really go t uh, too far out. How about we take a ride on your bike? 
want to see what's going on over near Trista, too. Might as well head back to the Courageous then. Oh, but wait, we don't have a sidecar, do we? Oh, never mind the sidecar. I'll just ride on the back. That should should work, right? Uh, no. This will go very, very badly. Sure, we can do that. Death awaits. Keldic is money, yes. Ironically, I'm hearing a motorcycle outside. Road to Heimdall still seems really well protected. Perhaps more so now. Now that they've lost Twin Dragon's Bridge, this area's probably more vital to the Alliance than ever. Yeah, it still doesn't look like we're uh, getting back to Trissa anytime soon. Don't worry, our day will come. It might not have been our intention, but we played a part in liberating Keldic. And we'll try and liberate Trista and the Academy the same way. I guess. That's right, we gotta think positive. Uh, yes, Persona 2. We need to keep moving forward and believe that our path will take us there eventually. Turn to Keldic, taking extra care not to be noticed by the Noble Alliance forces along the way. Someone call for Maya, yes. There we go. The Rush 2. Time for sequels. Alright. Uh, going for Laura next, then. Ironically, they're all right near the end, I guess. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Quite some time since we were last here. No matter how long I'm away, I don't think I'll ever be able to divorce this place from my memories of our field study. I'll say that again. Man, we had no idea what we were in for back then, did we? We've really grown a lot. Now we have? Uh, all our transformations, the experiences we've shared, and the people who have supported us along the way. Be careful not to forget the gratitude we owe each, uh, each and every one. Should I stay here and rest uh, with Laura for a while? Can I join you for a while, Laura? By all means. Perhaps you'd like to order something as well. Maybe. It depends. Are you paying? Man, he really just got nothing. Okay, I was like, wait, are we cutting to him just not ordering anything at all? Excuse me. Hey there, what do you be having? Oh, I wasn't aware that you were taking the orders as well. Actually, our waitress seems to have disappeared. Oh, I sent her out to run some errands. It's like kind of packed, though, so I'm on the floor for now. Really? That must be exhausting. Hmm. I'll get used to it after a while. Anyway, what can I get for you? Green, shall we? You out of my mind? We have a proposal for you. Would you be willing to let us assist you until Louise uh, returns? Sure. I'd hate to make you work when you should be relaxing instead. Like you said, it does look like you're kind of swamped at the moment. This is a good opportunity for us to pay you back for our hospitality during uh, our field study, too. If anything, I'm the one who owes you for your help. But if you're willing to give it a shot, who am I to say no? Come around the back, I'll show you how to handle some of the more basic tasks. A uh, crash course in food service, Rena and Laura began helping out at the end. Rena was on duty at the counter, while Laura served Luisa's stand-in until she returned. Oh goodness. <laughs> Didn't we just get done spending time with you? Why's it gotta be like this? Well, well, well. Color me surprised. Get going, guys. This will be a nice way to pay, uh, repay market. And on that note, beer me, champ. Mind doing me a favor and not getting plastered while I'm on duty. Get coffee and carbonara for table three. Coming right up. This is so weird. But okay. Oh, aren't you looking adorable? I must admit, this tire makes me feel rather self-conscious. I don't think I've ever seen you wear an apron before. Look cute, though. It suits you. Oh, please, there's no need for that. 
importantly, we should probably get back to work. We did volunteer, didn't we? Got it. That's it. Lord and Apron, yes. At some point while the two were working, a group of girls came rushing in to start to cheer Laura on after catching wind of her waitressing exploits. And while this made her feel much more self-conscious, she still kept working diligently, a rosy tinge coloring her cheeks. Soon after, Louise had returned from errands. Good lord. The longest two hours ever. Probably only lasted for like two or three hours. It was actually kind of fun, despite how hectic it was. Although, granted, if it's like two or three hours during like rush hour, you're kind of uh. That might as well be the entire shift. Indeed, it was a rewarding experience. Walking around in here brought back memories of our field study, too. Like our minor dispute here, do you remember? Yeah, I do. You asked, do you like the path of the sword? I still think back to that question sometimes. I also caught myself asking such things to myself since then. The path that our blades will lead us down is uncertain, but... We should both endeavor to improve ourselves regardless. Yeah, agreed. And that's that. All right. Uh, there we go. Spend time with uh, the good girl Toa. Or rather, let me uh, let me get it straight. The captain, Captain Toa. Now, love to see it. Spoke with the market manager. He agreed to let us uh, use some of the stuff from the stalls that have closed down. I really wouldn't have asked, but George said he needed materials for repairing the ship. Heck, and Captain, you've got to work with what you're given. Also, this should be, yeah, last bonding point, so... After this, we'll proceed to uh, story progress. Toa will be Chancellor. I feel it in my bones. Oh my goodness. I'd love to see it. I'll take half of that for you. Actually, I should probably take more than half. This one's probably as heavy as you are. No way you should be carrying it all on your own. Well, if you're sure. Oh, since you volunteered, I'm doing something else for me, too. A bunch of unusual stuff here. Or rather, unusable. Stuff that I thought I'd take for myself, so if you wouldn't mind. I'm gonna drag this junk for you somewhere, too. If you think it can turn into something useful, then sure. Can't believe it. They're gonna go dumpster diving, you guys. Carefully help Toa sort all the usable items from the us unusable items. Altogether, two of them carried anything worthwhile back to the ship. After that, they took the unusable stuff to the highway. There we go. Already? What am I looking at? This looks like a setup you see on a firing range. Yeah, that's all I can see. Uh-huh, that's exactly what it is. Perfect opportunity for me to get some practice in. You know what they say, no time like the present. Practice? What kind of practice? This watch. Oh my goodness, she got a gun! Oh my goodness, this image is too much. It's a normal gun, isn't it? Pretty big one at that. Don't mess with her. She will shoot you. Design doesn't look like a thing... Uh, like your standard rhyme for production, though. That's because it was made at the ZCF in Liberal, apparently. Yo, even better. Oh my goodness. Even better. Forget rhyme for it. ZCF is where it's at. Different from your average normal gun, that it shoots arts based bullets. I guess the easiest way to understand is to think of it as a normal staff, but like in the shape of a gun. First our Arcus units, now this. The technology continues to impress. Meme with Toa holding a gun captioned. Shut the fuck up, Noble. Oh my god. <laughs> I can just see it in my mind. I hate it. I had no idea ZCF was even producing uh, stuff like this. Prince Oliver gave it to you, didn't he? Yep, right before he partnered with us. It's a prototype, too. Normally, only people involved in its development would be able to get their hands on one. Prince must have some connections within ZCF. Oh, he definitely does. Can't wait to... Uh... God, or at least I wish someday they'd, like, meet up. I want to live on the timeline where Toa and uh, Tita are best friends. We'll scratch that. Toa, Tita, and Tio. The three T's together again. 
Well, I say again as if it ever happened, but... Eventually. Lucky us. But at least it'd be surprised to hear about this. Well, it is a totally new invention. I'm gonna be okay with it because of my experience using regular orbital guns at the Academy. Turns out I was wrong. Would you mind helping me out with my target practice screen? Not at all. Can I ask what brought all this on, though? You're already the best backup we could ask for. Seems odd for you to be taking up a weapon now. I was actually a bit perplexed myself when he handed this to me, but... I think you realize that I've been worried about my own lack of strength lately? You have? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's okay. Just, I've been tasked with looking after the courageous. Can't rely on everyone protecting me forever. Isn't just some minor clash we've been swept up in either? A full-on war in every sense of the word? If I can't look after myself, I'm just gonna end up being a burden? She's not wrong, though. Especially in this situation. It's the last thing I want, so... Can you see why I want to become strong enough to protect myself? This has really been weighing on... Uh, weighing you down, hasn't it? It's not just that, either. That Connor Sage specifically chose me to succeed him? Trusting me to fill his shoes? Tell me that makes it my duty to become capable of supporting everyone on the Courageous? Oh, that's more than enough to convince me. If you got your heart set on this, then I'll gladly help you out. Let's become stronger together, Toa. Along with the rest of the Courageous? Yeah. Well, that's wholesome. She do it. Maybe small. Don't know anyone who else who works uh, half as hard as she does. I have to do what I can for her sake, too. The Pew Pews. After joining her practice for a while, Rain leisurely walked Toa back to town. Nice. God, her art's so cute. Every time they gotta make an art for her, it's like, okay, we are challenged to one-up the last one. Wanna hear reload, reload? <laughs> Good lord, from House of the Dead, yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. I'm like, when's the reload session? Uh, looks like that's everything. East exit of Keldic to end the day. Alright. So, what time is it? It's only 5.19. Guess we're leaving. Oh, wait. Let me um talk to the other ones, even if we didn't do their bombing event. Anybody around here? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Oh, Elliot's back there. Is it relieved that Fiona's safe and sound? She don't have to worry about her as long as she's with Dad either. Yeah, no guarantee that she won't run into danger in the future. Next to your dad's a pretty safe place to be. Just glad everything worked out in the end. Wouldn't have if not for you and Valimar, though. The rest of our classmates, uh, of course. Won't be easy to repay you, but I'll be sure to help out as best I can. Come on, we've been through enough that you don't have to worry about repaying us. Just take some time to rest for now. Oh, I know. While I'm here, I might as well go listen to that fiddle player. I won't get a better chance than right now, right? Pretty much. Alright, um... Where's Fee? Wasn't she up here? Oh, no, she's at the end, too. Okay, needs to send Alpha in. Okay, so they're all in the south. South corner. How y'all doing in chat? Everybody doing aight? Oh, uh, let's see. God, I always get tripped up because it doesn't tell me where I'm at on the, uh, the square one. Subusus. Mitchell army routed. Uh, peace has finally returned to this town. Might only be temporary, but for now, that's something worthy of celebration. Planning on heading to town, Emma? Oh, hello, Reed. Something like that. It's gonna take a little walk over to Lunaria Nature Park. Oh? This wouldn't have anything to do with uh, Selena, and I sense... Uh, sensing the higher elements last time we were there, would it? Yes, actually. She told me all about it. 
thought it might be a good idea for me to go take a look for myself. Shouldn't be too much trouble for me. Monsters around there aren't especially challenging. It's the juice box sit. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even, man. He just do it. Wait a minute, isn't she one of, uh... Players' members? What about your work at the Twin Dragons Bridge? The army gave Keldic up without much of a fight, which is surprising. Hmm. I think that it's an important location in the railway system means that losing it must have been a rather big hit. Who knows? Maybe this will serve as a big step toward bringing the Civil War to an end. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to remember. Alright, Alphon was in the house right here. He peers across town, his gaze piercing through Machius' eyes. <laughs> Sit, he said, slapping his legs. <laughs> what the hell? You've been working hard on other requests my brother sent you? Uh, suddenly she's in her school attire? I guess? In fact, you're simply gushing about you? Really? Really? What if your exploits has been reaching the ears of Western Arbonia, you know? Everything they've heard has been filling them with just as much hope as it has the people here. I'm just going to pass along a message for you as well. It won't always be easy, but I hope you'll keep fighting the good fight. No idea what we were doing was having an effect on so many people. We really will keep fighting. What we're doing brings hope to the very ones we're fighting for. Nothing is too difficult. This fine spirit is worthy of a fine reward, in my opinion. I want to present you with this. Oh, um, Soul, question for you, man. You played Cold Steel 2 on PC, right? Uh, because I got a follow-up question, if so. Okay, so, at the start of this session, I had a weird issue. When I was going to return, or, or rather, turn in my quests, um, and Oliver showed up on the screen, or like the orbital computer and stuff on the ship, um... It was flickering a lot, like the model for him, like overlaid on the computer, was flickering pretty bad. I'm wondering if there's something I can do in PC settings for that, or if you ever ran into that. It's a new one on me? Okay. Hmm. I wouldn't know then. I mean, it's on like max settings, but that's like, don't know why it'd be a problem. I'm gonna belong to the Order of the Phoenix Wings, Medal of Charity. Proof that its bearer has spared no efforts in working to help the people of Erebonia. Classmates played no small part in achieving all you have, of course. Sure, it was only possible because of you. I'm honored, Your Highness. I think I'm worthy, then I'll gladly accept. Wonderful. Back on my brother's words, uh, keep fighting the good fight. In turn, I'll do all I can to aid you. Hmm. I'll look into it, though. Maybe someone online has had that issue. That is the one unfortunate part that with like smaller known series is like, man, can I find this very minute specific problem I'm having? Oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> Holy crap that caught me off guard. Hold on, I'm curious. I'm gonna miss this? What I pick What happens if I do that? Oh no, that's just an automatic message. It might be too late. No, I'm not sure. Wow, that is weird. I really got an emote, but okay. Um, I was just confused because I had like the thank option, but I was like, wait, how do how do I do this? Uh, anyway, Antoine, uh, thank you. Regardless of my confusion, thank you very much. The message came out in Portuguese. I don't know why. That's the automatic message. <laughs> I don't know. If it was Portuguese, I don't know why, people. Um, I was just like, wait, what is this thank button? Um, but thank you for the sub. Seriously, I appreciate it. Um, man, that threw me for a loop, though. How you been, though? I usually don't see you in chat. You just prefer uh, watching the streams? Uh, let's see. I think that's all I have to do. Oh wait, um, 
mill you and fee right in the inn. Got to talk to them. I mean, we don't have to, but I want to. He's probably up here. Oh god. For a second, I thought this shelf was a vent. Oh my god. Old Seal 2's, uh, it's doing things to me, man. It's messing me up real bad. Hey, people, noise level's down a little, please. Can't try to sleep here? Well, they're, uh, hooting and hollering. I think the war was over. Well, they were just freed from a brutal tyrant. Let them have their moment. Not like we're using today for anything but rest, right? I guess things didn't turn out okay. You guys match pretty well with Valimar, too. Try to keep that up for next time. Don't do anything too crazy, got it? <laughs> it's Anton. <laughs> I could see that. Shelf on an elf was funny. To see the shelf's event. Ah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work quite as good. Oh my gosh, she's just chilling up here. What, what's up, Fee? Fee? I should have guessed she'd be asleep. On place or a nap, Fee? When I think about it, this was about where those Jaegers showed up last time. Maybe the worry that they might show up again tired her out. She's becoming the third plant pot. Ah, uh, yes. She will merge. Soon. Very soon. Can't believe this. Anton and Earth. Uh, oh, Milliam. She's in church of all things. Where are you at? Are they gonna hold a Sunday school class right here really soon? It does in the chapel and Trista too. Are there uh, two, right? Oh man, this is so cool. What are they like anyway? Yep, every Sun. Wait, you've never been to Sunday school? No, sorry. Don't feel like I missed out on anything either. Even if hearing about kids getting educated does make me think about the academy all over again. I mean, I guess that's one way of looking at it. That sleeping position, yes. Comfortable? To somebody. Alright, so now... Should be good here. Still some time before we have to leave. Should I head back to the Courageous now? Yeah, we're good. Leaving so soon? Who is this? Oh my goodness. You're... What you want? <laughs> I see you remember me after all. That's quite the honor, Reen Schwarzer. But which one's your real voice? That's all I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> Organization 13. Cursed. Just who in the world are you? I'm aware how you've been supporting both us and Major Nightheart from the shadows. But you're a little too suspicious for your own good. Why do you know my name? What exactly are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> There's no need to be hasty. But the time has finally come for me to reveal my true identity to you. <laughs> are you ready? Christ. Tis I, Thomas, your favorite instructor. All right, I forgot. Sorry. I kept saying Thomas, thinking that the H actually matters. Silly me. Ignore the H. No H here. Also, I still hate how the spiral glasses just... I hate how it's like two layers of eyes. I hate this. What? Are you really that surprised, my dude? It's certainly been a while since you've enjoyed the bliss of one of my enthralling lessons, hasn't it? But for real, which one's your real voice? I trust you've been doing well. 
Why are you of all people here? Wait, no. The better question is, why were you in disguise in the first place? Yeah, you know. An excellent question. And fortunately, one with a simple answer as well. The goat instructor has arrived at the station. <laughs> Good lord. You see, I simply wanted to avoid any trouble that might arise if anyone were to place me as one of Thor's instructors. Hmm. I must be a master of disguise, because it worked so well that no one ever suspected me. I mean, there's probably other reasons why nobody suspected you. Uh, uh, I think I need a minute to process all of this. Reen's like, I'm tired. I'm going back to bed. So you're the one who helped us back at the Twin Dragons Bridge? Indeed. Twas I. My goal was to aid you as covertly as I could manage. But there's no need to lurk in the shadows any longer. I pledge my support, my life, my love. Oh my goodness. From now on, you can sleep easier at night knowing I'll be right there. Uh, I think that'll do the exact opposite, thank you. It, isn't this all a bit sudden? I think that'll do the exact opposite of what you just said, sir. Oh, I suppose it will be helpful to have another instructor on board. <laughs> Jesus. Gladly welcoming their new allies on board. We and the rest of Class 7 took flight once again to assess the situation in Erebonia. <laughs> well done! Let's see, total-wise, it should be having 36 here. Bless. The best approval you could ask for. And there we go. And yet you wonder where he kept his clothes in the, in the first place. The ship is simply spectacular, something to captivate the eye at every turn. I've been dying to board the Courageous for quite some time, so being here now is a dream come true. Oh, right. And all my dreams were dashed the second I learned that suspicious man turned out to be Instructor Thomas. I know how you feel. So much for a super cool action hero. <laughs> I don't know. He's always come across as an airhead to me. Maybe there's more to him than I thought. I mean, you ain't wrong, Celine. Sucker, what exactly made you leave Trista? Actually, it was Principal Van Dyke. He wanted me to look out for all the students who had fled the academy. Make sure they're alright. Covertly lead them a hand, or lend them a hand if we were in a, they were in a pickle. That sort of thing. Really? You know, it was the, through the principle that George and I were able to reunite with everyone, too. More time goes on, the more people we realize have been looking out for us. Tell me about it. We have so much to be thankful for. Make sure you never forget that. Regardless, now we've taken care of things at the Twin Dragons Bridge. I propose we resume traveling around and gathering information. Works for me. Thanks to our operation being a complete success, we should be able to land that Keldic in the bridge, too. But like Yusa said, let's get back to gathering information and helping out those in need. Hmm, got any more requests for us to knock out? Yep, Prince Albert sent along some more, so feel free to take a look. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Somebody needs to be stopped right now. Like to put your Divine Knight skills to the test? Opportunity presents itself. Meet me in the main corridor of Twin Dragons Bridge. God, that's probably the best one yet. Oh, oh God, Prince Oliver. Terrible news, Reen. A malevolent worm has swallowed Toa whole. What will the Courageous do without its Starling Marshmallow mascot? Okay, so that was a fabrication, but just think. What if she had been swallowed? You'd surely do your best to kill that monster, no? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh lord. Manager uh, Baggings. Uh, not to be confused with Bannings. 
Out there, Bat Fairy's been a uh, host to a variety of strange things lately. While this isn't an urgent request, I would really appreciate if you could come help us investigate why. For the details, please speak to me at the front desk of the Phoenix Wings. Another hot bath quest. And the fact that it's creeping for creeps has me, uh... Terrified. Both seals large amount of Lord of the Rings references, yes. Good lord. Can't even with this. Got all kinds of different ones this time. I certainly wasn't expecting to see one from Major Nightheart. Especially one involving Valimar. I wonder what he wants. We're gonna elaborate once we're there. If we can take care of that examination request, we should be okay. These all look like uh, so much fun. Can I come this time? Can I? Do you know this isn't a game, right? I mean... It is? But you're not supposed to know that. Well, it's not like she can't hold her own in fight. Why not? Anyway, let's get started. Wait, is Millium now like... <laughs> oh my goodness, and I gave her so much screen time on the last part, because she wasn't having any. Ugh, this is what I get. I mean, it's first time playthrough, what can you do? Alright, Millium, you're staying for a while longer. Oh, um, everybody's kind of getting close to where they need to be. I mean, Sarah's like super up there. Guy's got to 82. Hmm. Well, 80, but you know. Don't you hate that about the English language? You can say 82 and it, it's not the same. Okay, so we're gonna put in uh, Lisa and Laura and Yusus. Um. Hmm. To Machius or Fee. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do Fee. It's been a while. Okay. This is kind of a weird team. We don't really have a dedicated healer, per se. Eh, but with uh, Lisa, it should be fine. Lisa and Eustace are kind of mixed, so... We can get it done. I stop by Becky's trade shop on third floor of the Courageous. Oh, is she the, uh, the pawn shop? This can be exchanged for more rare, rather than one instead. Items that have been missed in previous chapters. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, story occasionally available to buy as curious, too. So we check back frequently. Okay. So, uh, wait, you missed from chess. Is that how they do it? Huh. Let me go and check. I might have missed something. Never know. Oh yeah, does this mean that I should be playing Blade too? Did it reset now that we're in part two? Technically. I'll check. Trade shop is where? One of these two? Uh, this one? Yeah, looks like it. Got a fancy counter and everything. Name shop here? It's actually not bad. Maybe better than the stalls of the Grand Market. Pretty sure these facilities are state of the art by any standard. She must really like those stalls. So what are you planning on selling here anyway? A bunch of rare stuff I grabbed from the Grand Market. You need to learn a thing or two about dealing uh, in the market though, so we'll be exchanging items instead of using Mira. Making a page out of Mitch's book, I see. I think it's a mix. Not sure. Don't mind having a second pawn shop outside of Trista. Well, given that you've taken the time to set all this up, you'd be downright wrong of me not to uh, make use of it, right? Let me know, guys. Am I supposed to say the CH? Nope. Looks like we haven't missed anything. Excuse me? I guess we're getting all of these now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, they really, they really just had to do it. Wait, boards. 
Oh, okay, so there's snowboards and, um... Bike colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? Screw it. It's tradition. Gotta embrace the meme. We're going for Elisa's color first. We're getting all of them, but... It's funnier this way. Oh my goodness. What have they done? Wait, is hers the most expensive? Oh no, they're all ten. <laughs> My lord. Are this both grind bait and Lisa coloring here? They're effectively the same thing. <laughs> oh, Christ. body feel and grace or laziness okay there's bears and bunnies awakening headbands that seems pretty good let me look through this really quick it's really the only one that sticks out Wait, this could be good, too. Hmm. Oh, I see. We need an orange cape for that. Okay, so you can make them slightly better. Oof. That's a whopping 20, though. Okay, keep that in mind. Looks like you can get quite a bit of stuff here. Man, like what's a golden Mishi? Excuse me? Golden statue of Mishi that hardcore fans would die for. And Tio's like, I'll kill someone for that. Hmm. I just looked it really quick. Okay, so you get the Leg Breaker 2 stuff if you want it. Oh, Vanish too. Now that's tempting. Hmm. Yeah, everything else is the R version. The rollback version, if you will. Okay, nothing too crazy on the court side. Tio, Golden Mishi. She's in. God, I miss Tio. I miss Tio and Randy so much. Uh, let's see. What does the guy recommend for us to do right now? Sacrifice one attack two and one action two courts together with 20 materials. Corresponding EX or for Valmar. Oh, I already did the attack two, but I guess I could do it for the action two. Try the tough mech battles, and this way you can benefit from stacking EX heroes of Valmar. Okay. That's increased the speed, I believe, so. We'll go ahead and do that since I got recommended. Although, I guess the question now is which one to get rid of, defense or HP? Eh, probably HP. You can easily get that stuff back with, um, you know, Elliot's, like, regen or, you know, other ways to get HP back anyway, so. We'll keep defense instead. Um, wait. Wrong way. Alright. I said it was an action too, correct? What do we need for this? No, not much. We can totally afford that. Cool. Then, uh, let's go talk to Clara.
So impressive craftsmanship on that night of yours. Well, this is designed straight and practical, has some unique artistic flourishes. Whoever made it must have been exceptionally skilled. Remember George saying something similar, actually. Only does make me wonder just who made Valimar. Good question. Here we go. I'm glad they at least made this, like, affordable. You know? If they wanted you to do this. Could have been, like, 20 or something. I... He's looking pretty juiced up. He's good. He is ready. Nothing quite like the sight of a Divine Knight in battle. Sure. I mean, it's, it's an everyday occurrence. I haven't felt the urge to paint in some time. Watching you and Valimar fight was downright inspiring. I'm gonna make it back to Thor's. I know the first thing I'll be doing. Honestly, it'd be nice to, uh, to even be back in the club room. Lots of good memories there. So, man. Combat efficiency continues to increase remarkably. Odds of the Panzer Soldats are also improving, but your rate of improvement by comparison is significantly faster. This is the potential of humans. Elmar? That's it. I'm gonna save my piece and dip. Alright. Are you ready, people? Are you ready for pain? We're going to jail. We're going to jail. Oh, it's actually very minimal, but you can't rotate the camera for some reason? I thought it was gonna be much worse. I thought it was gonna be, like, plastered everywhere. That actually looks pretty sick. I love the green. Not sure about the gray, though. I mean, the red and blue is alright, but it looks kinda standard. Hmm... I like the green, I'm not sure about the red. I'd like... It's so tiny. I was like, I was expecting the worst. It's very minimal. Fee's best, in my opinion. Yeah, I like Fee's color scheme quite a bit. I think we'll actually stick with Fee. Uh, I like the neon green. Very cool. Alright. And that way, we don't go to jail. Well... Potentially? I don't know. Lloyd might say otherwise. For now, yeah. The frog jail vid, yes, I love that video. That <laughs> shit cracks me up. Uh, let's see. Mira and Sepif, one of those characters you intend to bring with you to the act boss. Okay. I'm looking through. Apparently you can talk to Celine on the front deck. Can we also do more blade? I don't think so. Actually, let me double check while I'm here. Well, we're on the first floor, but... Go to the front deck. How you do? I was expecting to find you here, your highness. Zane and I were just having a nice little chat. You know, girl talk. I've been ever so close since we first met. Always nice to spend time relaxing with your friends. Well, thank you to not put words in my mouth. Only we even known each other for about half a month. That's plenty of time to develop a deep and abiding affection that will stand the test of time. Besides, fortunate enough to end up on the airship, uh, sorry, on this airship together, why not take the chance to get a little closer? I think we were destined to be wonderful friends from the moment we washed our washed screens back together in your mirror. What? 
I didn't know such thing. Oh, she's even got Selene on the ropes. Salfin's a real natural at this. <laughs> what the hell? Not Blade. Are there no Blade with Blade 2? You're right. I gotta put some... respect? On Blade 2. I don't really have to, but... You know. Oh wait, are there new weapons? Uh, yes, actually. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we fought quite a bit, so... We should be okay. You know, this might actually be the party I go with. Got a little bit of support. Got the status ailments with, uh, Milium. And we got Ungabunga Laura. It's been a while, so... I might go with this, actually. The only unfortunate part is we don't have, uh, what was that quartz called? Domination? That thing was incredible. Oh, we'll stick with that for now. If we're gonna put Fear Useless in, we'll, um, you know, we'll buy it as we need it. Titanium Coats. Um... Could buy a few. Seems like it's not gonna be that worth it for Reen. I mean, it is a few points more. Hmm. But I don't think it's worth it for how much he loses. I'll buy three. God, it's so expensive though. make back about as much. Actually, you know what, though? Oh, can I not exchange? Um, I guess it has to be at the Orbital Shop. That's right. God, I don't know why. There's, like, certain instrumentation here that makes you think of Kingdom Hearts. Specifically Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, this, this shit right here. Drives me nuts. Okay. Um, let's unequip that stuff. Getting ready for the gummy ship? <laughs> Maybe. Alright, so what am I gonna do? Hmm. Well. Yeah, I keep her with that. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, let me set them up real quick, if I can, that is. I guess get rid of all these. I won't be using Sarah for a while. She's pretty up there. Same thing with guys. You've had a good time in the sun, my dude. Um, yeah, we'll keep them as is. So, let's see. Oh, that's really good. Put that on somebody when I can. I mean, we probably should be upgrading our slots too while we're at it. It's been a long time. Uh, what should I give Laura? I guess a shield too and Tira is fine. Give her something for healing, you never know. Hmm. Give her 
the vanish. Hmm. What else? I guess an evade two would be nice. Or maybe. Maybe the motorcycle. No, I don't even know what that picked up on the mic. Heard that orbital bike? Yes. Uh, huh. Sorry. I'm really just thinking. She already has that, doesn't she? Yeah. I guess I'll give her a bait. With a burn too. Screw it. We'll give her speed breaker too. Why not? Uh, definitely ingenuity. Would this be EP cut too? Uh, yes. And. God, it is so much easier to do, like, casters and physical at times. Just give them the good spells, that's it. Call it a day. Um... More or less? Hmm. I mean, no, not Prankster. Swordbreaker wouldn't be too bad. Doesn't have Volcanic Rain, does she? No. Yeah, we'll do that, then. Okay. Obviously, cast two. I guess a mine two while we're at it. Uh, sort it this way. Hmm. God, like, I'm sure Waterfall is good, but... Yeah, no, I'd rather Flood. Now, hmm. Breeze or Reaper? I'm thinking. Well, hmm. If she's gonna be support, I can't deny Reaper. Or rather, not Reaper, but uh, Breeze might be better. Because I know she's got some healing, but it doesn't even work on her, so it's like... Kinda need something a little better than that. Uh, let's see. What would my last thing be? I'm trying to remember what her setup was beforehand. Man, a lot of good stuff. Um, maybe La Forte. Hmm. Or something better I could give her right here. Doesn't have Ariel anymore, does she? That'd be a good one. Apparently, scent gives it, but I'm not about to do that. Here we go. Okay, so uh, I think they should be good. And they definitely keep those. Those two are very good still. Okay. Um, let me check accessories. Definitely getting the belt. What is Bunny Watch? What? Alright, this weird thing. Um, hmm. Actually, I've never tried to see how... Hmm. No... Part of me wants to see how dumb, like, having a quick caliber S and a cast 2 looks like, but she's gonna need some ailment protection. If those officials were, uh, anything to go by, I think the enemies are gonna be slightly more annoying now. Can't take that risk. Um... What bracelet to safe bet? Maybe one of these, actually. No, but for her purposes, Nord Bracelet makes no sense. 
Uh, alright, Laura, really quick. Maybe one of the pendulums. Uh, hmm. We'll go for that. If we gotta deal with the sheep, we might have to deal with sleep soon, so. Hmm. Yeah? I think we will go for that. Because really, when I think about it, if we abuse Heavenly Gift, we should not need the headband strat too much. Because the CP regen really helps, so. We'll see how that goes. But they're, uh... Oh, wait. Position. Pretty much good to go. Yeah, this is all over the place. What is this? Alright. Uh, where is Blade 2? Actually, let me talk to him. At least we were able to put an end to my father's foolishness. However, I'm also relieved that there were many in the Provincial Army who felt the pangs of guilt having to obey his orders. Provincial armies are all about pride and elegance, or at least that's what they like to think they're about. No matter how you dress it up, taking hostages demonstrates neither of those things. I think they realize that. It's difficult to believe my father was so foolhardy as to not. It seems to be growing impatient. That impatience is only growing more pronounced by the day. I can't help but wonder what my brother thinks of his behavior. Oh, no point in getting too worked up over it. If does something stupid again, we'll just have to mess it up for him like we did this time. Oh, she's right about that. Someone's planning something that needs to... Uh... Are there? Uh, someone's planning something that we need to step in to stop is exactly what we'll do. What we have the courageous for, right? Strikes me as an overly optimistic outlook, but I see your point. Regardless, as much as I'd like to think he'll calm down, that will be that fortunate. We need to be... Uh, remain vigilant. Alright, where the heck is this blade to? Oh, we're still in the shop area, aren't we? Yeah. Hold on. For some reason, the training area has the games. Boiler room. Conference room. Okay, but they're all there. All where the guns are at. Hey, uh, Reno, welcome to the Range Combat Training Room. Well, this is where they assigned you, huh? You got it. Got a thing or two that I think might be helpful for you. Gave me the perfect place to use them. Recognize this? It's green. Hey, a combat shell. Yeah, let's suck a few of them out of the academy with me. Bet you they'll be great for you guys uh, to train up. Uh, for whatever you guys and gals end up against. I can see that. I sent them up for range combat, so I'll be for putting uh, your orbital guns, bows, and staffs to the test against. I'll be here whenever I can. If you ever want to do some training, just give me a shout. Thanks. We'll have to take you up on that. Now, here's my question How are they going to incentivize me to actually do this? Intact from farm may be used. Putting combat shells and completing various tasks you can obtain special rewards. Hmm. Guess I'll we'll have to see what those are. Store broke out. Haven't had any time to practice anything on my own. Archery's still sharp for obvious reasons. Our skills have gone down the drain. Can't wait to get back to the academy and start playing again. Love is great for that. We can all compete with and encourage each other to get better instead of focusing on ourselves. I mean, eventually. I want to take Thor's back as soon as possible. I want my life to be like that again. Now you're talking, Lisa. But if you want to do that, you're going to need a whole lot more practice, so you better keep it up. Right. All the rights. Wasn't there a third person? Oh, I guess. Hello. That's it. I guess you count. Being called? I guess not. Um. Did I just misremember? Where is the blade room? I think I just misremembered. Oh, it was the second floor, wasn't it? I 
Uh, yeah. So wait, what's this shop then? Wonderful to be on board. The ship itself wasn't fascinating. Uh, enough, you've got a Divine Knight, a witch, even talking cat on board. And you go say hello to the famous Mr. Valimar soon, too. After all, I've heard so much about him. I don't think there are many people in the world as carefree as Instructor Thomas. Hmm. Instructor Thomas, uh, sort through all the research materials he brought with him. Which means I'll probably be here for a very, very long time. I managed to gather all this while the nations at war is beyond me. I mean, you're telling me. The operation of Caldic is a tremendous uh, step forward in our journey to ease the suffering of the people in Erebonia. But I must say, it wasn't sound just to be back there again. At least I want to refresh myself on the fundamentals of my training, which, come to think of it, might prove more valuable. Ever since he brought me aboard, I've been trying to figure out what to do to play my part. the difference. Mm. Oh, I know, but like the portions are like the same, right? So. That'd be one of those combinations. Oh, um, I mean, it'd help if I ever saw the menu for these places, but. Yeah. Oh, I know, but I don't know the menu. Um. I mean Yeah. Honey, that was honey. Um, I mean, if they're all separate, can I take, like, the low man, I guess, and the honey chicken, then? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I mean, if not, just do it with the rice, I guess, but... I guess I'll try that. Thank you, though. Give me some chow mein. I don't even. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if you're saying chow mein or lo mein, but I'll take the Orwell burger. <laughs> uh, think about what I was good at. Hit me uh, lunch boxes. Super nice lunch boxes could really lift people's spirits. Ironically, leaving on this message that we were talking about food. I swear I don't plan this shit. Try to improve my skills and make the best lunch boxes I possibly can. That's an interesting idea. I could see it working for you, Monica. Sure, everyone will love sampling whatever you come up with. Heck, I'm getting hungry already. Can't wait. Glad to hear, because I need your help. Would you mind bringing me some really superb dishes for reference? Oh no. Superb? Superb how? Anything that you taste and think, wow, that's superb, will do. That answers nothing. Uh, they'll help me expand my lunchbox or repertoire. Given that you carry your own recipe book around everywhere, I thought you'd be the perfect person to ask. What do you say? Willing to help me out? Well, if it leads to building a better lunchbox, I'm on board. If someone wants anything superb, I'll bring it straight to you. Thank you very much. Should be fun for both of us. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> that fire is, uh... I know they were going for, like, a fire effect on those, but that looks more dangerously concerning than ever. Holy shit, get it together, man. Ooh. I'm terrified of this kitchen, looking at that. Happy to know that I managed to replenish our ingredient stores uh, during our stopover in Kelvick. Plenty of it will keep, too. Uh, shouldn't be wanting food for quite a while. Or wanting for food. Any luck, that's one less distraction for you as you do what you do. Okay. I wish I could read it. It's so... Oh, wait, let me see. It says all... Maybe one's like 500 Mira. The other one's maybe like... 700? Why does it say piccolo all? What? I said piccolo ale, maybe? 
The rest I really can't read. Hmm. But okay. He's fun paying that shit, I guess so. Uh, let's see. I know what that room's gonna be used for later. Let's see if I can find that menu. Being called again. Oh no. It's my sister calling, uh, for downstairs. So what do the boards look like? <laughs> the million one's very fun. Oh, that's cute. It's Elise and Alfin. Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. Although it bothers me that the middle one is now just left unanswered. How you do, Sarah? I gotta say, seeing Instructor Thomas uh, pop out like that really threw me off for a loop. Maybe he managed to last this long without getting himself in way over his head? I believe, sure, but still amazed. I know sometimes it might seem like I hate the guy, but I don't. Really. I just find him... Uh, hard to deal with. Times like these, I wish Nightheart were here so I could leave him in the hot seat while I made my escape. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess there's that. Garlic might be free of the Alliance's control, but that doesn't mean it's safe. Corp Division using the Twin Dragon's Bridge as a base very well might become a war zone before long. I know we already have a lot to keep track of, but we should try to keep an eye on it if we can. So can we actually have new people to play? Oh shit! I guess we're doing it again. Uh, let me see what the guide says though, it's been a minute. Melamenesis on third floor for short events. I don't think, uh, oh wait, no, we already did that. One located in Lion Nature Park, one in North Highlands. Beat them an hour later, then visit Ymir. Okay. Seems uh, pretty straightforward for this one. So, I guess we'll suffer and do some blade. Did I really just save twice? Oh, I hate that. Alright, so who needs the blade the most? So, Elliot, Machias, Emma, Eusis, for sure. And... Milium, it seems like? Yeah. I could get Fee to level 4, but I'm not sure if we're going to use him in the party, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I mean, I'd feel bad, but Fee was in there for, like, the first few, uh, sections for a good bit. So you got plenty of screen time. Um, alright. So we're doing, uh, those, I guess. Alright, let's do Emma. <laughs> Promise you'll go easy on me? No. Time for pain. Shall we draw? I'm going first then. Oh my god, you're starting with a five? Oof. I think I'll mirror that, thanks. Oh no! This could be trouble! That might be my first mistake. Uh, no, actually. Oh, I hate this. I guess I'm forced to. There's nothing I can do to possibly counter this. I don't have a bolt, so... Darn it, I should have kept that mirror. Oh, well. Oh, no! This could be trouble! Let me guess a bolt. Oh, wow, no. Okay. 
You know what? Let me use a blast right now. Ow! I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I'm going to use a bolt. Uh, I have a feeling. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. And the first move is all yours, Reen. Oh, I might have screwed myself with that. Oh, you beat me! Okay, good. Oh my god. She really just had a one. I was like, the last. <laughs> Why would she do this? Oh, I'm gonna if you want to play again. Alright. Then we'll go and do... Machius. I'm not gonna hold back. All right. Well, that seems like a pretty good hand. Well, then. Go ahead and draw. We're even. We'll have to redraw. You're up first, Reem. I was about to say, please don't make this a repeat of uh, prior events. Force! Really? Really? That's a waste, young man. Now you've done it. I sometimes worry about what this AI is trying to do. Mirror. Damn it. I mean, I guess we have a six, so it's fine. But eh. Hmm. I think I'll do the blast now, actually. Ugh. Now you've done it. Oh, that's bad. Darn it. I guess luck wasn't on my side. Blast! This is really bad. Okay. I guess I can live with that. Oh boy. Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. It's mostly luck anyway. Jesus Christ. If he got that force, it would have been so over. God. I really hate when they got a force uh, card. Or not force, uh, blast. I'm saving it towards the end and it's the suicide hour. If we have to. Well, damn, never mind. He'll, he doesn't even want to play. Draw a card. We have the same score. Let's redraw. I'll be going first. Hmm. Oh, it's two mirrors. Oh god, which means that he definitely has a force. We'll save one of those mirrors for when he uses it. That'd be a pretty good strat for now. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, that sucks, but... How would you cope with this? Oh, I'm sure I'll manage uses. Believe this. At least it wasn't a complete waste of what? time. What? Oh my god. I mean, I guess if you do that, yeah, that makes sense. That's an automatic win. Oh my goodness. That's more brutal than I thought it was gonna be. Jesus. Um. Who else? I believe Elliot needed some. <laughs> Go easy on me, okay? Oh, this is a awkward okay, hand. Let's draw. Yikes. Being tied means we have to redraw, right? You might have two sevens? Is that possible? Looks like you're up first. I guess I'll do this. Oh man, wait, he probably has a... Probably has a blast card. Oh, it's like I want to leave the force for that last, but uh... Really? You're playing that now? That's what I was afraid blast. of, damn it. Damn it, damn it. I mean... It's 
not great either, but at least it's not the force being taken away. I mean, I'm forced to. Really? You're playing that now? Bolt! Oh, I had a feeling. Mirror! Oh, we're fucked. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You really had it all. I see you. Can't believe this. But okay. Oh, uh, we got one more, right? We'll do a million. I feel like Million will do her best to try to Come cheat. Come on, draw a card. See, she's rushing because she knows she cheated. I'm going first. Let's see. No, four would make us tie. I don't want that. Or do I? I never know if tying is like a good thing to go for. Don't know. What to do here. Take this. Rude. Put that back into play. <laughs> so sorry. I'm sure you are. Who's that for? Good lord. <laughs> so sorry. Oh my goodness! What is going on? How dare you? How could you do this to me? Good lord. Ah! Well. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I wanted to win. There we go. Not pretty lucky there. Hold the mean grudge, though. Wait until next time. <laughs> God. Her quips are, like, just the right amount of annoying when playing Blade. Uh, Alright, so we got all of that. That was five, yes? Uh, yep, that's five. Okay, so I think now we just go ahead and do... We go to Ymir? Is there anything else we had to do? Sorry, let me uh, double check this. Uh, seems like it. Alright, so we're heading out. Unless there's people to talk to? I mean, we already talked to most of them, I think? Yep, we talked to everybody along the way, so we just got on the bridge. Oh, hey, you two. I've really gotten the hang of this uh, observing thing. I know, right? I don't know what it is. Some stuff just comes naturally to me. Pulling pranks and pulling pranks. I mean... In a few more days, and I'll have the scoop on all kinds of naughty escapades happening on the surface. Or it just wasn't designed to help you peep, you know. That's it. <laughs> and yet, I can just as easily imagine if he's like, You know, you're not supposed to do this, but tell me anyway. <laughs> Be like, alright, what do you have? I totally do that. Our skin feel knows its own reward. I also feel as though it helped uh, give me a much needed confidence boost. I feel like Fee only said that because she, uh, she sensed that Reed was there. Made a real contribution to the war this time. Does it will actually have an impact on the fate of the nation? Uh, next time I start losing my nerve, just think back on this and how strong we really are. Oh, is there anything else to report here? Oh, these are all the ones we don't have yet. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, is anybody still in chat? I just want to make sure it's not a weird, like, Streamlabs issue or Twitch issue. Part of the Vision has moved their base of operations to the Twin Dragons Bridge. Take a pound into their care, too. Seems like things have finally settled down for now. I have to admit, though, if I ever start losing confidence in myself. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, Keldic's an option. Which, I mean, there's like a Crypta now, but we won't really deal with it. I think they said they added two. Snowboarding again. Wait, trade. Eh, nothing to really trade for. Same thing it seems like. God, these two are still here. Mm, just a bit closer to warm some battery, please. Freezing it, it looks so warm. You numbskull. Not the guy who set all this up to come out and laugh at you, huh? Too smart for that. Once he comes out to see if we got caught in his trap, I'm gonna show him what's what. So smart, Pattery, but... God. I'm so cold. I mean... I can't believe they're still at it. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the X for me. Alright, so I have to suffer with snowboarding again. Let's, uh, let's get this out of the way. The B2. God, I love how even, like, the font... It's not about, like, the, the letter font makes you think of, like, DDR or something. Do I want to go cursed? Let's go full on cursed. All right, twenty out of twenty-one. Hopefully, this ain't too rough. Very cursed. Just looking at this board. I thought I had enough uh, leeway there. But it seems I did not. <laughs> and I missed one, but oh well. I don't think it matters if you get them all. Ha! Does it? I don't think I noticed you get anything for getting all the flags. I think it's just... Ooh, no, we gotta restart. The controls are very rough. Maybe I have to jump over? Only for extra points? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to really force uh, him to go right, but it did not... It was not having it. There we go. 
Second try. Did it. Very cursed. It reminds me of Zep Everman's racing minigame song for his video game music vid. <laughs> God. Stopping you is there. Without any of the other youngsters in the village can compare with you now. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead. Take it. Oh, nice. That's a very good one. You have the course is well maintained. Feel the recording again. Just come on by. Certainly will. See you then. Alright. Actually, you know... Hold on. I've never seen it. What does it look like if we fail? I'm curious. Does Reen get super bummed out or something? I've never actually seen it. Just out of curiosity. Just let me go the wrong way. Intentionally going the wrong way. I can't believe this. I thought there'd be an invisible wall, honestly. Ah, but I see. This is the A, um... The A course. Or rather, B1. So I guess the way they do it is, like, they use the map twice. And one's just one split map. I didn't notice until now. Yo, what if we don't even see the finish line? Okay, now they meet up at the end. <sighs> Wasn't so great. <laughs> Christ. Okay. I was just curious. True pain. Alright. Uh, let's see. Phoenix Swings, who's receptionist? Oh, okay. We'll do the uh, side quest. Hello there, Mr. Baggins. Ah, oh, Master Reen. Can I presume you've come regarding my request? That's right, yes. We'd like to know more about it if you don't mind sharing. And something super strange has been happening here lately, right? Indeed. A number of curious things have been occurring every night of late. Sometimes we get reports of people hearing strange sounds of unknown origin. Don't say. Other times it's moving shadows illuminated along the walls. We even have a report of someone seeing a white shadow flying off into the sky. It certainly does sound strange. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this isn't gonna lead to the G word, is it? Oh my goodness. I nearly forgot that you were afraid of ghosts. I'm not scared of them. I'm just really not a big fan, that's all. I failed to see the difference. I can hardly blame you, little miss. Getting back to the topic at hand, do you have any idea what the cause of all these things could be? I'm afraid not. Not even sure where to start looking for clues, in fact. I see. Well, if all these things are happening at night, then the best place to start would be here at night, right? <laughs> Something about the sparkle sound effect. Ooh, are we gonna sleep over? I expected that you would say that. As such, all the preparations for your stay uh, for you to stay have been made in advance. I do apologize for troubling you with this when you have other pressing concerns. Would you be willing to assist us? I mean, I've lived a full life, so... How cursed is this one gonna be? We'd be happy to help. Really? It's wonderful news. Thank you ever so much. Should we call the others then? Yeah, we can hear more about what's been happening once we're all here. I forget if that hurt, um, that incredibly cursed, uh, creepy sheep side quest was an FC or SC, but... Man, I was not expecting Cold Sotu to have so many callbacks to Sky in particular. You'd think it'd have more crossbelt ones. Oh, this is everyone. You said that something strange happened last night as well, didn't you, Mr. Baggins? That's correct. Uh, Purple might be the best person... Wait, her name is Purple? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Uh, best person to explain what really happened in detail, however. Oh, 
sure I can help. If only Eric Andre were here. It's around 11 at night, I believe. Having finished work for the day, I decided to use the outdoor bath to relax. All of a sudden, I got the feeling I was being watched. When I looked in the direction the stairs seemed to be coming from, no one was there. Looking at the ground, I could see freshly left footsteps on the snow. I kept staring at them, puzzled as to how they got, uh, got there. Just as suddenly as before, I saw more footsteps appearing, one after another, even though there was nothing there. This was when you ran out of the bath, stark naked and screaming. Got found by me? Maple, you promised you'd keep that part a secret? Um... I can see why you'd want to forget that. Putting the final part of the story aside... Sorry, I'm distracted. I was looking at Celine's uh, tail just popping out on the right of the frame there. Suggesting those footsteps were disappearing on, on their own. How's that even possible? To be fair, this area does have a lot of more spiritual energy in the air than most. It means it could be the work of... Stop! <laughs> oh my goodness, that face. Just constantly. Those reactions are always funny. She'd be like, please consult the stop sign. I believe the word you're looking for is annoying. Stop. She's fine, sir. Certainly knows how to liven up the proceedings. You do kind of make it hard to enjoy a good old-fashioned ghost story, though. Oh, whatever. I think it's clear what we need to do. Right. All of us will need to take turns guarding the outdoor bath tonight and see what happens. Can't wait for cursed moments. Ah, uh, yes. Just the dudes chilling. Can't be an outdoor hot spring for relaxing. Not to agree with you there. I love how every single other, like... Reen, Machius, Yusus, and, like, Ellie all just look like the same body. And then guys is just like, I'm tan. The only one. They don't even look like they have varying skin colors. Oh my goodness. You're kind of bad taking it easy like this. I don't think there's any harm in taking it easy once in a while. Indeed. Especially as our investigation requires us to be in here to begin with. But nothing out of the ordinary so far, though. Hey, we're told that this was a nightly thing. I'm sure the culprit will come if we wait long enough, but... Maybe our ghostess doesn't have any interest in men. I mean, you're actually not wrong. If it's how it went before, uh, actually not wrong. Hey, you can't hog the bath all night, guys. The Milliam? What the devil are you doing? You're so cute when you get flustered, you sis. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Come on, Milliam. Don't know if it's appropriate for a lady to be coming in right now. Wouldn't it need to be inappropriate if you guys got out on time? Oh yeah, our shift's over, isn't it? So comfortable in here that it slipped my mind. Okay, you win. Sorry about that. We'll get out right away. Man, and yet when a girl walks into the uh, the hot springs, the guys don't make a huge deal out of it. They ain't throwing shit all over the place, right? Funny how that works. Sensible. I can't believe those boys. Yeah, yeah. It's always the boys' fault. I get it. I can hardly blame them for not wanting to get out. Watch them be late, too. Still. <sighs> Goodness. Well, let's just get this trope over with. Had a lot of those. I don't ask to what you're referring. You already know. What's that one's uh, breast or prime symbol of womanhood? I don't know how envious I am. You've been luck out with, uh, with boobs that big? Milliam's like, yes. <laughs> well, I guess the same could be said for certain drunkards who shall remain nameless. Are oh, you too kind? Want to give? Uh, I'm gonna give yours a little massage. Secret to success for these babies, you know. Uh, I don't think it works that way. But all right, thank you. These are pretty big already. Want to make it bigger, right? What is going on? Can we please just get the sheep in here? My fingers to work. Got nothing to lose. Man, do I love hot spring stroves? Yes, I'm just like... I... 
I don't know. This does something for somebody. But it does nothing for me. Yes, I have. Consistent massaging actually produce such results. Want to try? I, I think I'll pass. What is this nonsense? I'm with Selena a thousand percent right now. Thank you, I'm saved. Only for the weebiest of weaves. Otakius of otakus, for real. I'm like, in terms of the TNA spectrum, I'm actually more geared towards, uh, towards T than A. But, even that doesn't help this. I still hate this trope. You would think it would work for me, and it's like, I just hate it every time I see it. It's all so copy-paste. Why does it look like duck webs? Footprints, but there's no one here. Or there. How bizarre. It's a... A go go Yes. A ghost. Uh, let's take a closer look. Beautiful. Immaculate. Masterpiece. A sheep monster. Is a Scooby-Doo. Yes. Would that be the ghost we've been looking for? Oh lord, he coming. Looks like I wasn't alone. Is everyone okay? So it really is a monster. Leave the sauce and... I mean, I really don't think that was a good idea. Yeah, I think you've been a bit hasty this time. What? Green, ready your blade? You're in for it now? Oh, great. Great, we had to do the entire thing. Can we just focus on the monsters for now? Green is now dead, I guess so. Well, trying to get away? Green's punishment can wait until later. Swallow those monsters. Christ. Pretty sure they fled this way. Hmm, do you pass to pursue them on snowboard? Uh, by snowboard over foot. Go on ahead, the rest of you can follow after me. Oh, me and Lamia come too? Pass up some of those monsters to easy peasy? In that case, the rest of us should uh, split up. Few of us can follow you, Reen. The rest of us can stay here in case any monsters pass you by. Sounds good to me. Got time to waste? Figure out who's doing what? <laughs> I thought it was going to be the prompt uh, to change my board. Do I need to do anything else? Oh, no. I think that should do it. I don't think there'll be too much trouble. There's still monsters at the end of the day. Don't try and fight them on your own, Reed. Okay? Understood. Creepy sheep on the snowboard. Oh my goodness. All I need to do is be just as creepy as the creepy sheep and touch them to catch them. What does this even mean? What do you mean? God, we still got this fucking snowboard. God, they're fast. Get over here. Why can't I catch it? There we go. How can she slap? <laughs> okay. Nice going, Reed. You caught them both? You a piece of cake now? Should be. Don't let your guard down until we're finished. I just imagine him kicking Reed while he's holding one on a on the snowboard still. Right, you two are in trouble now. What kind of monsters think they can just waltz into the village to ca uh, cause mischief without consequence? Sheep's like, hey man, it's a living. Who are you to judge? You okay, Reen? Sorry for the wait. Good to see you didn't try taking them on without us. Nice timing, everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Suddenly they weigh five tons, I guess. 
gross. It actually looks more hideous. Where'd the fur go? Or rather, the wool. What's that thing? Must be their leader. Let's do this, guys. Right. Look at those lips. Gross. Let's take them out. Gross. Get it away from me. Don't breathe on me. No problem. Oh, this is very bad. Can we cure ailments? I did not think Freeze was going to be the thing that would kill me here. Okay, good. She has that. Thank God. It's going to kiss you, man. I don't want no kisses. The boss. What is up with those lips? What the fuck? Disgusting. Worst. Let's move. The worst. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Thing is doing those normie duck lips. God. Eh, let me just do an S-Craft. Oh no. Well, we might be screwed here. Uh, I'm done for. Yep. Yep. I sure do love losing a fight just for not having one accessory. It's very fun. Oh my god, give me a break. No. Fuck's sake. I guess we'll try again. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Oh my goodness. I guess I'm gonna summon Valimar, cause fuck it. Actually no, we'll- hold on, I have an idea. God, that's just rough. Yes, sir. Same thing as before, but I'm gonna see if Heavenly Gift right. can save us. Maybe somebody can actually dodge this thing with insight, but Christ. Or it just takes it easy on us, and we don't have to deal with that. Alright, thank you. Fuck it, we're gonna call him in. This is very excessive. Okay, we still got the 200 CP from earlier. It's got burn too. Huh. Yeah, we'll do Heavenly Slash. Wouldn't it be some shit if, uh... God. If you actually had to, you know, worry about getting frozen. Okay, yeah, no S-Craft. Fuck it, we'll do it again. Because I really don't like you. Get lost. Christ. 
Okay, it's safe for now. Get just hard cut back to humans, I guess. Would have been cool if Valimar had his victory pose or something. Great! I'm awesome! <laughs> A matter of course. Let that be a lesson to you? Go home and don't come back to Ymir again. Cut those lips. I hate it. Next time we'll show no mercy. It's the same sound effect, too. It's the end of that, I suppose. Hopefully they learned their lesson. Uh, they did not. I assure you. This is not their first time. Although still not... I will say... Still disappointing, because I wanted to see how nightmarish that weird morph would look like in 3D. Like, that was like the weirdest shit to look at in sprite form. I was like, why have they done this? Why have they all fused together? <laughs> I would have loved to see that in 3D. I'm like, come on, man. That was like the best part about it is that it caught everyone off guard when they saw it the first time. Big lips, disappointing. Very disappointing. Punishment that severe. Can't see them returning to the village anytime soon. Anyway, good work, guys. I see. So the culprits are monsters, then. Can't believe we didn't notice that on our own. I know. I wouldn't have been anywhere near as frightened if I'd known it was only a few monsters roaming about. Not camouflage themselves in the snow. Don't blame you for not noticing it. Yep, it was that time, too. Still. This is the first time creepy sheep uh, like those have caused trouble here. While they do make their way into the village from time to time, but appearing night after night like that, Pretty sure that's a first. As far as I can recall, it is. After it's appearing, monsters behaving strangely. So what is happening in this country? Very good question. Though not one we can answer at the moment. Still too much we don't know. Yeah, that's true. Well, at least we solved the mystery. <sighs> they just couldn't let it go. Of course. Well, it's left us to go to our rooms and get a good night's sleep. What's with the awkward silence? You already know, Reen. Just give up. Oh boy, you really need to ask? Hope you aren't seriously suggesting that you've forgotten. If you are, we have ways of making you remember. Oh. <laughs> that face. Yeah, that may have been more than a little inappropriate of you. Time to repent? What the fuck? Just get it over with. Maureen. Christ. Thankfully, thankfully it's a fade to black. I will never like that trope. Ever. Just, just not a fan. At least it's over. It's just, fuck, dude. I don't even watch that much anime anymore. I don't even, like, try? And yet, I'm still exhausted by this trope. Imagine someone who's, like, keeping up with, like, anime and all this other stuff, and it's just... Ooh. Jesus. I'm like, yeah, we get it. You're girls. Gotta have the guy show up. But meanwhile, I literally just said, wow, Milliam can enter in on boys, and it doesn't fucking matter. Imagine that. They literally just proved my point. Yeah, another reason why I hate that trope. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. I guess slow main isn't happening for dinner. Apparently they ordered KFC instead. Disappointment. It'd be like that. Maybe they were closed? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Time for some Colonel Sanders. Uh, it's soon. It's still only seven. I 
That is a lot, though. Oh my goodness. This is all one day? Well, I guess we'll work on it a little bit. I doubt we're gonna finish December 20. There's like three side quests to do. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else to do. Yeah. Also, shout outs to people like at least the stream was showing me that like viewers are leaving. It's like, man. Maybe uh, people like that trope, and they're like, I can't believe you're besmirching the good name of the, uh... <laughs> of the, uh, the anime bath, uh, bathhouse trope. Can't believe this. I'm not watching anymore. Alright. Uh, could go turn that in. Oh yeah, let me see if it shows that weird uh bug I was talking about. So. Hey there, Reen. Do tell me all about what you've been up to. Did it just make me a liar? Marvelous. You've ranked up. Oh my god, it just made me a liar. This is just a little something from me. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to your next report. I don't know what happened the first time then. It was flickering like crazy, dude. What the hell? Thanks for... Don't you love that when you want to prove something in the game? It's just like... Or not the game, just in general. Like, whatever it is. Like, I'm gonna make you a liar. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Uh, let me see. He's not a weeb like us. Disgusting. I mean... I love me some anime. I love games that are stylized like anime, but can we not have the really tired anime tropes? That'd be great. Uh, let's see. Wait, how do we end the day? Wait, is this still... No, it's December 19th. The crew grounder's destination... Where do you okay. want to go? Wasn't this... Oh, wait, no, here we go. Full speed ahead! Alright. But, uh, give me about, like, five minutes, guys. I just gotta, um, go and use the bathroom. It's been a while, so. Give me five minutes. I'll be back.
Okay. Uh, give me a sec, though. I'm just gonna take some water. Uh, so what do I have to do? Speak to a monk at the eating table. It's like the first choice to help him find the sticker. Hmm. Attack one and two. Okay. Wasn't he somewhere around here? Hmm. Can't find it? Can't find it anywhere. How could I go and lose something so precious? Oh, there you are, monk. Oh, it's you guys. Hi. Need me for something? Pretty busy at the moment, as you can see. Our apologies for interrupting you at such a busy time. I have a favor to ask you. Well, we were trying to ask last time, too, but we didn't really get the chance. For Academy students to come and fight with them on board the Courageous? Oh, so the ones in the Courageous are you guys. This seems to be in the news a lot lately. Soldiers here were talking about it too. Class 7 really is amazing. Right now, we need all the help we can possibly get. Would you be willing to come with us? I can't, unfortunately. I kinda got something I need to do here first. Maybe I should ask you guys, actually, seeing as you're here at, uh, and all. Ask us. Is it something we could help with? You got a serious problem or something? Yeah, I've lost something really important, you see. It's so important to me that I've barely been able to sleep since losing it. That's pretty sad. I'm trying my best to find it, but I'm not getting anywhere. Wow, that really does sound like it must be something important. Can you tell us what it is you lost? A sticker. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? It's a sticker from Aben Time, the famous radio show that hasn't been broadcast since the start of the war. Incredibly valuable items that you get for your having your submissions read on air, with pictures of Misty on them. Oh. Come to think of it, she sent me one too, didn't she? I don't have time for such frivolous nonsense. Guess you best be going. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't joking about how important it is to me. Super special golden sticker too. Only those whose submissions was chosen as the best of the week received them? I've been trying to win one for so long, just before the show ended, I finally did it? It means the world to me. Let's see. So please, won't you help me look for it? If I can just find that, I'll be happy to join you on the Courageous. I'll do anything. Alright then, if it's really that important to you, we'll help you look. Really? Yeah, as long as you could spare the time. I feel a bit guilty just leaving you like this. Got an idea of where you might have dropped it? I wish I did. At the very least, I know I had it with me when I arrived here at this camp. I can't find it anywhere, though. Makes you wonder whether it might have gotten mixed into the stuff of the 4th Division. Uh, either stuff the 4th Division were moving to the Twin Dragons Bridge? It sounds like a possibility. Gives us a starting point, at least. Well, good luck. By the way, the serial number on the front is G40. Don't forget that. Uh, okay, I won't. Well, let's head over to the Twin Dragons Bridge, then. I guess. Catch you later, bro. Yeah, have a good one, so take care, fam. Uh, let's see. Seeks to General Craig. Okay. So we gotta do a few things, I guess, in uh, the bridge. Thank God you can skip these, though. All right. Where do you want to go? Leave it to me. 
So who are we talking to first? here. Actually, wait, where are we going? Oh, central area, I guess. Let's get going. I mean, I'd walk, but why walk when you have a bike? Second floor, apparently? Uh, hold on. How you do? Oh, you came at just the right time. This happened to look familiar to you. Yep. God, if it was in his pocket, though, it means it probably got really crinkled by now. This is an Oven Time sticker? So a number happens to be D402? Yeah, this has to be the sticker Monk's been looking for. So you have some idea of who the owner might be. Delivered to me the other day by one of the guards. Must have found its way into the cargo when we were moving our base from proven, uh, the proven ground to here. Considering throwing it away if we couldn't find this rightful owner. For some of the things it belongs to that student we were looking after. That was a close one. I'm actually very grateful to Lieutenant General for holding on to it. I think we found it. Would be willing to entrust that to us, General? Certainly. Make sure it gets back to its owner. What a troublemaker he is. Alright, let's get, uh, get this back to Monk. Should still be at the Proving Ground. Thank you all again so much for rescuing me. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come when you did. Thank us more than enough already, you know. No, I don't think it's possible for us to thank you enough. I've already lost my wife. Were it not for you, I could have lost my beloved beloved daughter. I will forever be in your debt. Appreciate your kind words, General. Going to have Fiona stay at our base camp in the future. Be safer here, uh, there than she'll be here. Hmm, but I'll need to make sure she's kept safe while traveling there, too. There's always a possibility that there may be enemy soldiers left nearby. I'll need to form a unit to guard you at once. There's no need to do anything that drastic. Uh, rather drastic. Aren't things busy here? Plan to move me? Uh... The plans to move you are going to be that much of a problem for your subordinates. I'll stay. Oh no, I won't hear a word of it. Alright, settle with ten armored cars, but if I must, I can go down to three. Just please do as I tell you. It's pretty clear who's got the power here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This man will do anything for his family. Still a really great dad. Oh, uh, let's see. Man on the left. Speak to Fiona for a short scene. I already did that. He's having the bookshelf in the same room. Okay. Coming in, found a scrap of paper in the base's mess hall. Weirdly enough, it turned out to have a recipe for some kind of seafood salad right now on it. What am I teaching it to you if you're interested? Mitchell armies are known for being really fussy about their food, so I bet it's pretty good. Our magazine called Imperial Car Life here. Oh, there's a lot of really cool looking cars in here. Might be able to use this coloring for the Orville bike too. God, anything's better than those garish, like, huge car books. Miss anything else, though? Don't? Don't think so, yeah. Looks like we're good. So I guess now we're going to Nightheart. What is the hitbox on this thing? For some reason, I can't... Oh my god, that's like as early as you can get out of there.
There you are, Schroeser. Apologies for making you come all the way out here. Not at all, sir. Dare I ask why one of the Noble Alliance's soul dance is here? Isn't that one of those, uh, Spiegels? Indeed. They're specially designed to be piloted by unit commanders. And the like. We managed to seize this one during our takeover here. Oh, wow. Fourth Division it delivers as always. Must have been really shocked to have one of these taken from them. Indeed. Serves as quite a trophy for the Fourth Division. I'm impressed at how relatively undamaged it is, though. Capturing it like that must have been a real challenge. Under normal circumstances, it would have been, but thanks to your assistance, we were able to catch them off guard. They never saw it coming. Just like Persona 5. No, let me stop. So it's all thanks to us. Woo. The woos and the loos. Uh, yes, that's correct. We only managed to seize the one. This is more than enough for us. Simply being able to analyze exactly what our enemy's weapons are capable of is a huge boon for us. And on that note, Schwarzer, I'd like to conduct a test battle against you with the Spiegel. Uh, are you sure? You even know how to pilot a soldat, sir? You don't mind me asking? Simple, Schwarzer. I managed to get my hands on some relevant documentation during my stint in Western Arbonia. It proved to be an excellent instruction manual. Successfully completed a test run before you arrived, in fact. I'd say I'm as capable a soldat pilot as any man on the Alliance now. You performed a test run? Make it sound a lot easier than it probably is. Can't even say I'm surprised. That aside, I understand why you conduct this test battle, but... I'm still le uh, learning a lot myself. I'm not entirely sure just how productive this will be for you. Hmm. In that case, just think of this as part of your training. Come at me with your full might. Uh, well, I do need all the training I can get. And not to overthink your actions. Just come at me with the intent to win. Let your body take care of the rest. Yes, sir. I'll come at you with my all. Very good. How would you like to begin now? Or do you have other... Uh, business to attend to first? Now oh, we're good. I'm ready. Excellent. Let's take this elsewhere before we begin. God, I still can't believe that pun. Also, um, let me double check. through this, because apparently this is actually a pretty hard fight. Okay. Strange seeing Major Nightheart and soul that? I hope nothing goes wrong. Right, I would hate to see either of them get injured over this. Look forward to seeing what the two of them are capable of. I can understand why the Lieutenant General and his men are here. Why don't the rest of you get here to watch? I call them, of course. God, she would too. That'd be better if you had everyone cheering you on. Wish you all the best. Show us what you can do. No pressure, guys. All your concentration wavers, Sorger. This may be a test, but I have no intention of holding back against you. Yes, sir. You know about piloting, but he's no slouch. If anything, he's stronger than anyone you fought before. Don't let your guard down for even a second. I know. Let's do this, Valimar. Well... 
This'll be a tough one. Be careful. Jesus. That's it really weak too. Body? Oh no. I can do this. Forget what's Oh, that's 20 CP. Wait a minute. I don't think I ever checked Sarah. Sorry, would you mind? All right, let's get this started. God, she's so fun. Oh, okay. It's definitely gonna matter. Could probably stick with that then. How long does it last? Three turns. Okay. Check on for that. Ooh, only a one star? I guess we'll try the head then. This state. Oh boy. Jesus Christ, he hurts. This is no joke. My turn. I mean, yeah, we're gonna need it. Here you go. Oh boy. Maybe we'll uh switch out to Elliot? We'll see. How do we need both, honestly? There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, this is gonna be a long fight. Leave it to me. Definitely gonna wanna, gonna wanna nerf that a little bit. Otherwise, it's really gonna hurt. Still does. Ugh, this is bad. Unfortunately, no four star weakness either. Man, nothing's guaranteed. Hmm. I think we'll go for this. Rather build up to the unite. Work, leave it to me. Keep it up. All right. I'm counting on you. I'll try at least. Huh. I might regret that. Yeah, we'll do Morning Moon, just to protect us a little bit. Bring it on. It's over. No, it's not. Gotcha. Oh my goodness, that was about to really hurt. It's my turn. I don't think I want to imagine how much it's going to hurt, actually. Here. Oh my god, I can go for two in a row. Jesus. This man's not messing around. Holy shit. Alright, I'll make sure to keep an eye on my CP. God, the worst part is, I didn't really get to see what the stance looked like. So I can't tell the difference. I think I'll know if it has, like, you know, unknown weaknesses. That'll be enough to let me know. That could have been really nasty. Let's go. Gotcha. That 
That's it. Just a little more. Time. Now. Gotcha. Huh. All right. Doing pretty good so far. Yep, that's the one. Okay, we're just gonna do Morning Moon again. We're just uh, going right back to that. Bring it on! It's my turn. Try this. Oh boy. Frick a Nightheart series with this shit though. Oh my god, what do you mean you still have that stance? What do you mean? Alright, I'll do it again. I'm not taking any chances right now, man. I ain't doing it. I'm really not in the mood. No, thank you. Right. If nothing else, he's persistent. All right, Sarah. Sorry, Might need can you. we handle this? All right, let's get this started. Hmm. And no real weakness either. Seal's a thing, but I can't remember who could really cause that. Oh well, we should uh, still nerf. God, I wish I had a teacher like Sarah growing up. Actually, you know what? That's not true. I think the one teacher I had in my life growing up that was probably the most like Sarah would be my choir teacher. Like, no matter what we were doing, she was having the time of her life. God, I miss her too. A real goofball she was. Oh, let's see. Oof, the stance again, but... Maybe I should do the fend? Mm. I'm very afraid. Very afraid right now. I don't know what the weakness is for this stance. You know what? If I'm gonna go ahead and attack anyway, let's just do the flame impact. Who knows, we might get lucky. Nice. Will this be enough? Nice. Nice. Oh boy. Well done. You did great that time. That was a gamble and a half. That was like 50% chance to get that. Oh boy. He did it? That was impressive, Reen. It's finally over. Man, Nightheart doesn't mess around though. Give him one of those permanently. Uh, admirably, Shorzer. Or er, Shorzer, my bad. Maisie can get up after that. It's like they never even fought. I wonder how he managed to sustain virtually no damage. It's pretty impressive. The way he fought. It's almost as if maintaining defense or defense over offense was entirely the point. He acts like a seasoned veteran even in something he's barely operated before. Man. And yet. He barely gets any screen time, so for as cool as he was piloting that, will it actually matter? Good work, Shorzer. Thanks for cooperation. That proved to be a very worthwhile test. Should be thanking you, sir. Only strategies that never would cross my mind. 
Come to think of it, what happened to the Lieutenant General and Fiona? They were here just before... All oh, right. Lieutenant General returned to his duties and asked me to pass on his regards to you. He's a busy man, but this test will play a vital role in improving our anti-soldat combat techniques going forward. As such, he wanted to see it take place for himself. That was why he came. I see. In that case, I'm honored to have been given such an important task. Can't get over just how strong Major Nightheart was, though. That's with barely any practice. If I can barely win here, how am I supposed to win against Crow? I'm sure I could have fought better if I had a better, uh, a weapon for Valimar. But would even that have been enough? There's no need to be so impatient, Chorzer. Sir? There was something I sensed while fighting you in that battle. You appear to be in a great rush to achieve something. But is that something, an accomplishment you can achieve alone? Well... It is a problem that concerns only you. You may have to change something about yourself to overcome it. If not, however, I would suggest you simply keep following the path that you believe in for the present. Huh. My path, huh? My apologies. Don't intend to meddle in your affairs and lecture you, but I think it may have come across that way. You have nothing to apologize for, sir. After all, lecturing students is what instructors do. I feel a little less lost as a result, too. Well then, I'm glad to hear it. With that settled, I should be returning to my duties. Thank you again for your assistance today, Shorzer. Think nothing of it, sir. Just you wait, Crow. I may not send a chance against you now, but the time will come when I can win. Or there, when I can and win. I see everything worked out. I'm glad. Both seem to have gained a little something from the experience. Happiness is infectious. <laughs> God. Every time, Milium. Alright. Skill handbook. Um. It was a really exciting fight. I had fun just watching it. Can't believe how easily Major Nightheart handled that soul out either. I wouldn't believe he'd only gone, gone it recently. Don't call him Nightheart the Mighty for nothing. Nightheart the Mighty? It's a pretty fitting name for him. It was only since the war began that I discovered his name is well known in the provincial armies, too. I heard him call that before, too. I'll have the opportunity to see him fight without a soldat at some point. It's a shame one soldat isn't likely to be very effective alone, though, even with Nightheart piloting it. Well, anyway, that wraps up his request. Uh, with the way this man was doing damage, though, I think he'd do a fine job. Still got another uh, one to take care of. So better get moving. Man. That was with the speed increase and, like, all the other, um... Oh, there's a chest here. There's a treasure chest close by. Nice. Makes me wonder, is there anything else around here? Hide anything out here. Wait, that's a yellow one. Does it matter? Ha! Ha! The advantage is ours. My turn. Hmm. I'm just curious. have a lot of training to do. Well, it seems like it gives a pretty good amount of experience. Though, I don't know if we have to go here for story reasons. Yo, wait, is that a black palm? Holy shit. It looks kind of cool. Now's our chance! Let's smash him! Here I go! 
Ashen Palm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now I'm just imagining alternate timeline where Reen just goes, Heed my call! The Ashen Palm! Could you imagine? I want to live on that timeline. <laughs> God. No problem. They just had to do it. <laughs> that takes care of them. Done. Nice. What are they weak to? What do we have in our spell? We do not. Any secondary that's decent? Oh, we'll just do this. Activate. Too slow. Here I go. Yeah. <laughs> that takes care of them. Nice. Hmm. Not bad. Huh? Thank goodness. Okay. Sixty percent now is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we'd miss anything. Maybe there's like a chest around here towards the end. go here. Another fortress, but not using courageous, then trekking it on foot. Okay, fine. Ooh, nice. God, we're kind of funny on Turbo. I think that's it for here. There wasn't anything else along the path, it looked like. Unless... Um... Hold on. Aha! Uh, but what is this team? What does it require? Laura, Machias, Gaius, and Sarah. Level 84. Wait, what? It's silly that Laura's worried about her weight, right? After all, it doesn't look like she's put on even Legram. What? Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me there's actually been chest messages for these, but because I had the right party, I missed them? Fuck. Is that really what's going on there? You get a stupid joke if you, like, actually don't bring the right party? I'm so pissed! Did I miss all the other ones? Oh my god. Why would they do this to me? Damn. But okay, wait, what was that one again? Okay, Laura, Machias, Gaius, and Sarah. Got it. 
I mean, I think all we have is... Yeah. Just lower in that team. We have to go back. I could do that tomorrow, though. Because it's already... Yeah, 7.42. Let me see what else. Um... Quest Monster. Ah, okay. Go past the south gate, head up the stairs. Top this area where Flare Bomb Quartz is. Okay, looks like there's still a bit more to do. So, alright, we gotta switch parties anyway. Oh, yeah, I can actually do it from right here. I'm trying to take care of this. That was the last one. I think it was Machias. What do they want us to do here for this one? Okay. Could try to set them up really quick. Somewhat. I give him. I guess I'll give him that. I guess I'll give him some of the one variants. I don't have to worry about it too much. Should be good there. Welcome back, Nep. Uh, I will say those streams almost over. Just a few more minutes. I'm busy walking. Yeah, no worries. Oh, what do I want to give her? I guess I'll give her the evade one for now. Wait, she should have the attack, too, though. Hold on. Yeah, I guess that could be good, too. Uh, let's see. Anything else I'd want? Not sure. I guess I'll give her that. Or maybe, hold on. Is there anything else? Yeah, there's really nothing else. Eh, shield one. 
This is just for a trial chest. That's unbelievable. It's a fight they want. The big squishy boys. Now, lend me your strength. So there's actual the chess air. messages for these if you don't have the right party set up, and I missed them all. Unbelievable. Wow, this is a lot of damage. Leave this to me. Damn it, and I missed the crit. Because they got thrown off guard by how much CP you lose. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll do this. Right. Nice. Number heroes with mech suits now. It was only a matter of time. I like how one of them already looks exhausted. Okay, that's pretty easy. All right, let's keep moving. Too late, but I'm here. What's up, Shriard? You're here right for the end of it. Pretty much. Not bad. <laughs> yes. I'm just getting started. I love robots, dude. Exactly, it sells. To be fair, I've been streaming for five hours. I can't feel bad at all. Uh, alright. Let's get back on the ship, actually. And yeah, I think we have Fee on. There we go. And actually, that's so weird. That somehow changes the lines a little. I'm looking at it down there. That's really weird. Consuming my all... Or consuming me all day. 14 is a maintenance. Run is actually going quite well. Nice. Uh, Alright. That should... Uh... Do it. Was there anything else I wanted to do beforehand? Hold on. Treasure chest is. You'll find the story quests. Okay. Looks like that next fight's gonna take a little bit. Um. All right then. I think it's best if I call it here. So, did pretty good progress today. Did about five and a half hours, so. Falls in line with where I wanted. I wanted five or maybe six hours, but five and a half is uh, just fine by me. So, I'm going to head out here. I'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, you know, so I'm not going to try to like go crazy. Some people do like ten hour sessions, and I'm like, I'm good. Plus, I'm also limited because of my um, my eating window. Um, for the, the fasting that I'm doing. 
And it's a lifestyle change, so there's no going around it. I plan on doing that for weeks, months even, if I can, and see uh, some results. But, uh, yeah. Either way, that'll do it for me. This has been a fun time. Um, and hey, thankfully, guess what? There has been no issues where I've had to restart the stream, which means that, thankfully, after finally getting caught up last night, um, I can just export this to YouTube, and now people that want to rewatch on YouTube won't be stuck behind, as far as, like, you know, keeping up with this stuff, so... Good. Everything's working out. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for me. I'm gonna head out, have some dinner, and then uh, chill for the rest of the night. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow at around the same usual time, 2 or 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, hope, to guys, uh, hope to see you guys there, rather. I was about to flub that real bad. Hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. So have a good rest of your night, guys. Take care. And uh, I'll see you then.